Good morning, Spaceman! Welcome on board! Welcome to Space Operations Delta! My name is Captain Collins. Welcome if you're watching on YouTube. Thank you so much. Good, good morning. Just a quick heads up before we start. Uh, I do have something else <laughs> on me today. This is a t-shirt. You can buy this kind of t-shirt. There are also uh, bright ones and there are also just with, with, with this in here. <laughs> and also kind of like that stuff it's available in my merch store the merch store is in the descriptions down below if you're watching this on youtube if you're watching this on twitch then it's in the panels down below cheers just a quick heads up so there is space operations delta stuff you can get for yourself if you want to be part of that crew thank you so much like visually part of that crew visually of course they're part of that crew hey true viking welcome on board welcome welcome i have prepared or i have a special idea for this stream today um so if you are interested in missiles torpedoes swarm missiles guided unguided rockets whatever we're doing this today like i want to focus 100 on torpedoes and missiles and that's what we're going to do today at second hand welcome on board amended man hey ho second handedly we're doing supply ships so we're also taking a look at supply ships i want to get all the different kinds of supply ships and which uh, work the best and how they work can, how can we resupply the supply ship and how can we resupply fighters with the supply ship so we're taking a look on this today perfect never got an idea of missiles and torpedoes yeah that's the same on my side <laughs> i have absolutely no idea about missiles and torpedoes and that's why we're going to do this today so that we can talk about this a little bit better uh, if you get like, if, if you get these questions about uh, about missiles and torpedoes, so that we can answer that after after this stream. Lord Orange, welcome on board. Welcome on board. So yeah, like I said, I'm I'm doing the first ten minutes in my Space Operations Delta T-shirts, which you can also get on. Uh, the link as i said on the description down below or in the comments sections if you're watching this on youtube mm, there is a little bit more let me show you that really quick really really quick it will bring you to this one here to merch.streamelements.com slash captain collins and there you can get for example this shirt here which i'm wearing right now or the mug which you can see all the time <laughs> cheers and of course hoodies tank tops which is weird but i don't know <laughs> and all the other stuff like stickers and so i don't know if, if, if you want it, then that's the place to get it. There are more colors than just these, which you see here. So there's like black, there's gray, blue, bright blue, <laughs> um, purple, whatever you like. Just, just click through that. Take a look. Also on these hoodies, I really like these hoodies. These are also available in different colors and in different sizes. So there you go exactly perch that merch <laughs> okay well as you heard hey hey i killed the xenon k with a parent destroyer without losing it oh with a parent destroyer wow that that's that's really good hey daedalus welcome on board daedalus how are you so as i said i'm wearing this for a little bit because we're just talking about uh, a new changelog. Yes, we're talking about the new changelog. 
I don't know if you saw this, but today, um, beta 4, uh, 4.0 beta 3 released. So this was today. Uh, today is a Thursday. If you're watching this on Sunday on YouTube, then of course it's a little bit older, but we have beta 3. And we'll take a look at beta 3. Right here. Where we are. Uh, and the first thing I want to note, uh, I, I want to show you is this here. <laughs> it's uh, removed. <laughs> hey, hey, the rock. Salut. Welcome on board. So many people from France in here. Thank you so much. Lord Ernst also. Salut. Salut. <laughs> True Viking. How do you say hello in, in Denmark? Is there like a... Is there a, a short short hello in Denmark so yeah hey <laughs> okay hey <laughs> well that's easy okay here we are beta 3 there you go a lot of stuff let's talk about this added search functionality to encyclopedia that's something you should have put into 1.0 Sorry, but that is something that should be in 1.0. This is like the most basic stuff. Added estimated build time to station module information encyclopedia. Same 1.0 basic stuff. Added strafe and shield recharge data to ship configuration and comparison menus. Menus. Well, okay. Added search by maker race in module and equipment list of ship and station whatever they they just they they just took a look at Google and thought that man we need also some search engines in our game. That's basically what happened here. Um, <laughs> added placeholder image when no video is available in personal overview. Well, added separate inventory category for paint modifications. Welp. Uh, add an option to quickly reassemble equipment mods. Okay. Added mixed cash and non-cash rewards to generic missions at higher faction ranks. Who does generic missions? I don't care. Gen they're generic. I don't know anyone that, that goes around and does generic missions. Or you? Good dog. Good, good dog. Good dog. Good dog. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> True Viking. Good dog. <laughs> that would be cool if we could have something in about if the ship reached fifty percent, go back to base and repair. Also, set the maintenance base for the fleet and ship. Um, you can have a maintenance base with you with a supply ship. We will take a look at that today, Ada Rock. So we will take a look at the supply ship and what kind of stuff we can do with it. And this should be also like a, a maintenance base. So repairing, resupplying, um, all the basic stuff for which you don't really need a full-fledged wharf. So you don't need to buy ships off, off a maintenance base, right? So you just want to like resupply and um, resupply and tell me repair. Thanks. There you go, Daedalus with the redemption. You will get it right now. There you go. Cool. I do have a maintenance space, but each ship call me to ask me about what to do. <laughs> well, okay, here we're still in here. Um Okay, here. Added follow assignment for ship subordinate to other ships. Wait. A follow assignment for ships subordinate to other ships. No idea. We have to have a look. Restored menu options to follow ship or protect player own station until further notice. Options removed in 4.0. There it is. <laughs> like, come on, Egosoft. Why did she do that in the first place? 
<laughs> who had a bad day? Come on, guys. Who had a bad day? <laughs> hey, Merlin. Welcome on board. Permission to come on board, of course. Uh, uh, accept it. Hey, Caden Orbit. Welcome on board. Welcome on board. As I want to point out, as I said, uh, these are Space Operations Delta t-shirts with Space Navy on it. Space Operations Delta. It's the same like on the mug. If you want to take a look, either you're watching this on YouTube, descriptions down below, or right now on Twitch, there is a panel which will bring you to the store, or you just type exclamation point merch, I guess. My vest is just sitting there on the floor. I will bring it on when we jump into the game. Uh, but right now we're just talking about the... Um, we're just talking about the change log and after the change log I will jump into the game and then I will also change when did beta free drop this night uh, the, at, at around the same time where when cyberpunk dropped <laughs> I was a good timing but yeah it was about the same time this was it was four four no wait oh wait this is not it last updated today this December, what is that? Yeah, today, basically. That's it. There's no no time. It dropped today. Putinyanko, welcome on board. I think they restored it after almost everyone complained in the forum. <laughs> yeah, I can see I can see the the comments. Although I did not read them, but I don't need to read them. This was it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. Okay, here we are. Change guidance and autopilot to no longer use unknown gates or superhighways, which is bad because uh, then you need to, then you need to, um, tell me. Explore them yourself. There you go. But okay, in the, in the, uh, in the next... Uh, step it makes sense so you can't just jump into a new game and then autopilot everywhere yeah okay okay uh, I can see your point in that <laughs> although it makes it again a little bit harder for new people that jump into x4 you can't just autopilot somewhere um, it makes it a little bit harder just a teeny tiny bit uh, improved order of ship entries in blueprint trade menu. Improved order of ship entries in blueprint trade menu. Yeah, okay. We will have a look at this today because I need to buy one specific blueprint. I will talk about that later. Uh, improved capital ship subordinate behavior to ignore subordinate group docked launch state. I don't understand. Capital ship subordinate behavior to ignore subordinate group dog launch say I don't I don't understand. Improved mission offer and manager menus to only show alternative guidance if mission briefing is visible. Whatever. Okay, we're here. What was in the beta so awful? <laughs> I show you they they crossed it out of the beta already. Do you see that? <laughs> removed interact menu option to follow ship and removed interact menu option to protect station. It was like right click, left click, follow ship. And now you have to go like right click, informations, behavior, set behavior, follow ship, select ship, or confirm follow ship, and then you're following a ship. Like, <laughs> still available as default behavior. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Amazing. Anyway. <laughs> so we're here. <laughs> Improved numbers of NPCs on docks to better reflect workforce levels and generally make things livier and make your game even worse because of, you know, um, performance so now you want to have 
as little <laughs> as you can workforce on your stations <laughs> to make your performance not go like down the toilet, you know. Fix cutoff text in encyclopedia descriptions under certain circumstances. Well, fixed sector info menu not being displayed correctly under certain circumstances. Whatever. Fixed incorrect display of settings in extensions menu after restoring defaults. Fixed inability to give piloting or management seminars to pilots or managers via personal management menu. Wow. When you, when you read sentences like this, you know that's a German company. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that it is, it is how it is. It, it's like... It, <laughs> like the most German English sentence you can do. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, fixed inability to give pilot seminars to players relief pilot. Whatever. Fixed inability to play station plots in another sector. Okay. Fixed ship overview menu for ships which use repeat orders. Okay. Fixed deposit inventory option not being available when ship is repeating orders. Fixed deposit inventory option not being available when ship is repeating orders. Whatever. Fixed logbook entries being added for NPC ships bailing following attacks by other NPCs. That's how I've been playing since the back surgery on always have the NPC fly and then occasionally take all. Oh yeah, see. Put those options back on right menu. Okay. The group subordinate group dog is one of the options to force ship to stay dog to their group leader. Ah, okay, that's that's something I need to have a look at for the Raptor. That's that's a good one. Well, I'm finally starting to slowly build my first boarding fleet. I'm up to one server's vanguard in service with another three in construction. When you have four, you have basically enough to get um, to get uh, destroyers. Four of them are absolutely enough. You can just take two and a half, I guess, two and a half servers um, m marines. So the marines out of two and a half servers and that is the maximum amount for a boarding mission. So that's good, Merlin. Have fun with it. Um, try that one where plot only could be placed in one sector. That was on your last stream when you had two plots in Tharkat Cascade and you wanted to plot in Hattie Oh, that was it. Oh yeah, where well, we had these, these random two spots there in another sector. That's right. That's right. Where are we? Uh, fixed logbook. Uh, fixed logbook entries. Okay, yeah, we had that. Fixed trade loops failing to trade with station build storage. That's a good one. Now we can have trade loops with build storage again. Fixed ships with destroyed engine continues to move. Fixed inability to scan ships multiple times. I had that. I I had that. When I, when I wanted to show you, actually I had this in, uh, in the video where I wanted to show you boarding operations. So in, in the boarding operations video on YouTube, I couldn't scan the ship multiple times. And that was a little bit weird because I wanted to show you how that works or how that looks like. And it just didn't work. <laughs> and it just didn't work. Uh, fixed another case of subordinates attacking ships beyond pursuit range. We had the no, that was no, 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 no. We didn't have that. That was that was something else. Fixed where amounts of repeated buy sell orders not being converted to cargo space. No idea. Fixed auto miners and auto traders operating over more restricted range than previously. Fixed cap. Oh, that that's something we had. That's something we had. Hey, Argonautis Prime, welcome on board. <laughs> that's something we had the last stream. Fixed capital ships not trading when player is around. Do you remember having having the capital ships on um, on Duke's Haven and they just didn't want to trade? Yeah, we had that. So 
I hope it's fixed. Uh, we can now uh, trade with Duke's Haven. Fix coordinate attack target selection to filter our targets in different sectors. What? Give me another song, thank you. Uh, fix subordinates assigned to mimic commanders with default order to dock and wait, repeatedly docking and undocking. <laughs> dock and wait. Okay, I did it. Undock. Oh, hey, dock and wait. I did it. Undock. Oh, well. <laughs> okay. Well. Um, fix split story mission Zyre's coffin getting stuck after completing delivery. We're already through this, but maybe for a few of you. Fix issue with split specific fleet war mission requesting non existent ship equipment. Fix cog stations offering signal leak missions. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, fix unsuitable shop areas appearing on certain stations. No idea. Fix missing doors for spacesuit docks on station dock areas. Fix redundant info text. Fix graphical corruption of guidance on map. Fix certain sounds being played using incorrect volume settings. <laughs> and crashes and performance issues. There you go. That's it. Well, it's a lot. I mean, if, if you look at what they did, and I think they will do at least one more beta before uh, Christmas. So I think that we get an, uh, another beta in next week or the week after maybe on mark my words december 20 second december 22nd we got the next beta beta 4 guten evening mine damned herrings <laughs> hey big bang welcome on board <laughs> So that was it. That was the change log for today. Well, nice. Okay. So as we move into the game, let me tell you again, t-shirts available in the merch store. <laughs> Space Operations Delta t-shirt in the panels down below, or if you're watching on YouTube in the description or the comments down below. Thank you so much. And I'm changing. Give me a moment. Welcome back. Here we are. Oh, boarding the bridge. Is the flag vest a merch item you want it to be? Question mark. <laughs> I can do these things here. I already thought about doing these things here as one. So this is like fabric. You can place it anywhere there's also um there's also the counterpart where uh, where you can stitch it on anything and then you can just put it wherever you want on a backpack or so but th this thing here is unique at the moment so th this here the name tag oh it's loud right the name tag is unique and th this badge here is also unique. But... We can have a talk if a lot of you want that. We can have a talk about that. Also, let me load a safe game where I actually... Ah, frick. Oh, man. Yep, I'm doomed.
Oh well, I'm doomed. Uh, I need a. Oh, I need a safe game where, where uh, Duke's Haven is not hostile. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> this is bad. Okay, well, um, ha. Huh. Oh dang it. <laughs> oh dang it. No. No. <laughs> I was so lazy. I forgot to say. <sighs> well, let's take this one. You can actually buy used stab vests and bulletproof jackets on eBay. They have things like police logos removed. <laughs> Well, this vest is, is not is, is not too expensive, so you can buy uh, new ones, of course, and you get and you get a lot of uh, a lot of pouches for it. So whenever there is a TwitchCon again, and we will meet each other, <laughs> I hope so that it will happen some point, some point. Then there are also some pouches I can place in here and I can have like a drink or I don't know, like magazines for the weapons I need to take to TwitchCon. <clears throat> because space operation, yeah, you know. Weiste? Weiste? <laughs> Oh my god. I'm going in. Operations. We just we're just taking a we're just taking a um is that a a, a marker, a, a tag tag marker. And then I will tag everyone with a with an with a with an X on their back. Like target <laughs> X <laughs> Get him! A lot of hawks. <laughs> TwitchCon London. What do you mean London? I was I was prepared for TwitchCon Amsterdam this year. I was really looking forward to it for TwitchCon Amsterdam in May this year. But of course it did not happen. Of course. Oh I think I think I even lost a few ships here in this safe game. I did not pay attention at all in this safe game because that was that's actually the safe game after recording all the videos for YouTube. And that took so long that it over that that it overwrit all the other safe games. <laughs> That video, th these videos took just so long. I was like making for, for let's say, hmm, I did videos for about five hours. So the game was running for five hours. N me not doing anything. <laughs> well, Do Twitch to an event in Zurich? I can meet you halfway. <laughs> Maybe they do Barcelona or something. I don't know. Where Where are you located? Like wh where? Wh from where is Zurich the the halfway? Like France? Fr would be France, right? You need to have two separate installations: one for stream and one for videos. Oh, ah. Oh. I I no, mm -mm. <laughs> no, nah. Uh -uh. I could easily get a code from from Egosoft. Like, hey Egosoft, please, like, would you give me a GOG code or something that I could play the game on GOG and Steam? But I don't want to. Steam will not allow that. Damn it. Just on a hard safe before doing videos. Yeah, I know. I just said I'm lazy. Oh wait! This is the ah, ah! There you are! Hey YouTube! Hello! Now you have chat on board. <laughs> now you can read whatever the crew is <laughs> whatever the crew is saying. <laughs> Whoopsie Daisy. 
See, I'm so distracted today with with uh, hello old captain. Yeah, you just you 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 you're old yourself, Daedalus. Get out of here. <laughs> <What the> <laughs> But if you had one standalone insult, it would work. Huh. I'm not even I'm not even doing that. I'm I don't care. I really don't care. Like the only thing that happened is the game was running in idle and it got me around 100 million credits. So I'm good with it. I'm okay. That's like that's that's my payment for doing YouTube videos. I get 100 million credits. <laughs> got paid for that so that's okay in-game payment um okay as i said we are doing something special today i only come here to practice my perfect german <laughs> me no i'm uk based but i have family in switzerland ah okay yeah see uk based that would be perfect in amsterdam amsterdam would be perfect if, if you would go to zurich you could also come here and that would be the same distance basically <laughs> so hey big man big bang whenever you want lost a few ships gained 100 million wait i lost a few ships who lost ships did i lost some ships i don't know Okay, what are these doing now? Do you have like... Do you have like new behaviors? Did they... Did they change some behaviors? Oh, who asked me about repeat orders in Discord? Um... Wow, I can't remember. Who was that? Oh yeah, Ikea Sofa. Captain, Daedalus, cheered 100 bits. Thanks for the YouTube videos, BTW. The shield <laughs> one is indeed an interesting video to watch. The shield one is indeed an interesting video to watch. Thank you, Daedalus. Thank you for the 100 bits. Thank you, thank you. Why are we still having music here? Oh, I know why we're still having music. Because I turned on the music in-game. Uh, Ikea Sofa. Is Ikea Sofa in here? Do you have a different name on Twitch? They won't let British citizens across the border control in three weeks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> you said you thought you had lost a few ships, gained 100 million. Oh, did I said that? Oh, um, uh, oh, which one was that? Yeah, that could be, that could be true. <laughs> that could be true. Let me have a look. Um, no. Uh, yeah, maybe. Maybe I lost a few behemoths. I don't know. Yeah, that could be true. Anyway, as I said, we're focusing today. We're focusing on missiles and torpedoes and i want to have something thank you deadless again <laughs> and i want to have something new oh wait and is duke haven still aggressive oh hey duke, duke haven is not aggressive anymore yeah so these are the ships that i thought we lost Okay, let me check that first. Be before we do anything, let me check that first. Um, and I want to see... Wow, I'm so lazy. I forget to set all the settings back when I when I do the videos. So lazy. So lazy, crew. Come on. Oh, wait. Where's voice? There you go. Ah, oh, oh, sweet X4 music. Wow, look at wow, look at this with the with the station in the background. This looks amazing. I mean, 
Let me do how does how does that work? That way. Is that complete? Wow, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Um Let me see. Let me do my photographic skills. Here we go. Uh, okay. There you go. Something for Reddit to appreciate. <laughs> oh, and now I need to put it somewhere uh, here. Ah, why does that not work? Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Okay, once more. Snipping tool. My best tool. Uh, snipping. No, that's... Oh. I'm so bad with computers. <laughs> Actually, I'm not, but... You know. Here. No! God dang it. New. Uh, here. That one. Got it. Finally. My goodness. My goodness. Um. <laughs> pear bridge. There you go. Oh. Whew. Almost. Almost there. Almost there. I promise. We're almost there. There we are. Mr. Hadwalls, welcome on board. And hey, Daedalus. Congratulations for the second batch. Welcome to martial law. No, I mean lockdown. <laughs> what? You can still build more of them. Yeah, I know. You can also press F12 key in Steam to make screenshots. I don't know if it works, really. See, it doesn't work anymore. I think I... I think I unchecked this option in the game. Could that be it? Yeah, I think that could be it. Oh, well. Yeah, I think that could be it. Hello? Game? Oh, well. Oh wow, you can okay. If you if you're hiding the HUD, it HUD uh, it hides <laughs> it hides also the map. Awaiting orders. Yeah, I know. What's your order? What's your behavior? Nothing. What's your the... Huh? Okay, let me see. Can you like fly just there? Thanks. What are your orders? Uh, wait for signal. Wow, I forgot where we are in this mission. Um, the fearsome flagship. Oh, there you go. 887 units of advanced electronics. Okay, let's see if we can get that. Really quick. Really quick. I think that these... Um, these, these stations should be now done trade with advanced electronics. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, it finally works. I, I did, I did some upgrades on stations, um, so that we can trade with the big ships, you know. Requesting permission to dock. What? <laughs> Awaiting orders. Where are we looking at? What's that? Sorry. Uh, what's that? 
Anti-matter cells. What's that? <laughs> oh, that's Little Amsterdam. Yeah, you don't have that. Oh, wait, maybe you have. Ah, oh, dang. Maybe you have something on Little Amsterdam. Let me see. Inkarkatua. And let's have a look at the training station. Do you have no known orders? Huh? Trade rules may prevent transfer wares. Oh, transfer wares. There you go. Advanced electronics. 37. Well. Well. Okay, then. Nope. Here. Transfer wares. Advanced electronics. Give me all of that. Confirm. That's 807. And then we need 80 more. Sold wares. Anti-matter cells. Is that what we need? Anti-matter cells? Yeah, I think so. 80. Confirm. Okay. Then you can bring it to Duke's Haven. Trade with. Oh, no. That was... Oh, that was the... Uh, cancel, 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 cancel. Where are you? Where are you? Information. Behavior. Execute trait. Delete it. Uh, let me see. Um, advanced electronics. That's it. Yeah, right. Advanced electronics. Buy some. 80. Confirm. There you go. Trade with. There you go. Confirm. Okay. That should work. Good. And the next we'll see. Redfield is gone. And we're good. Okay. So the next thing I need is Parinit Teleport 2. We're preparing some stuff. Entering system. Holy vision. Reggie! Welcome on board, Reggie! Hey ho! We need a wall of these. Can you do a wall of these for Reggie? <laughs> Anyone? Please? Which ships will you use for torpedoes and miss missiles? All of them. Info, Matt, C, own. Info, Matt, C, own. Oh my god. Information. Mation. Own. Yeah. Mm, almost. <laughs> hey, outcasts. Welcome on board. Is there a chance you could show me how to set up a mining fleet that mines into a hauler or warehouse instead of selling right away? Fuha. Just like, yeah, that's in between question, of course. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> not like that. Um, we can talk about that. <laughs> I have other stuff to do today. It's an honor to see you here. Wow, you're loud. Uh, do we have licenses? No, we don't have Safe any journey. licenses. It's an honor to see you here. Wow, you're loud. Uh, ships. And there's the Rs. Yeah. Actually, you know what? All of them are good. And these two. And this two. This will make money. This will definitely make money. The Gorgon will also make money. A lot of it. We need that for a second contact. So let's have a look. There we have... Captain. Grave to your 78. Just subscribed. Welcome to the new spaceman. Welcome to the new spaceman. Hey, Grave Digger. Welcome on board. Thank you so much for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Thanks. Oh, that's an advanced topic. A good one, though. Yes, it is an advanced topic. That's why we can't just we can't just throw it in there, you know. Um. Okay. Give me all of that stuff, please. 
You know what? Give me all of it. I don't care. Give me all the Paranid stuff so that the Paranid will start buying from second contact. Oh, this is expensive. Ooh, this is expensive. Oh, I don't need XL for now. Don't need XL for now. Thrusters. Uh, nope. Not using thrusters. We have all the missiles. That's good. We have all the drones. We should have all the consumables. Yeah. And also flares. Good. 55 millions. Confirm. Thank you. This should make this wharf even better. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, Silent Witness Shipyard. There you go. Ships in construction. Unknown ship. Holy Order Fighter Squadron. Unknown ship, unknown ship, unknown ship. Why is it all unknown? Maybe you want... Maybe you need L-Class. It's an honor to see you here. Hmm. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 76 million. <laughs> 76 million. Safe journey. Thanks. Ouch. Whew. Still unknown. <laughs> Still unknown. No. Why is it all unknown? I don't know. Anyway. X3 is the most overcomplicated UI, but it always seems to have a way to get the job done after decoding with the Enigma machine for a couple of decades. <laughs> okay, so let, let's at least talk about that. Uh, a mining fleet that mines into a hauler or warehouse instead of selling right away. Um... Are you sure they are pa par? Parinid? Oh no, I'm not sure. I'm absolutely not sure if they're parinid. But as you can see... Oh, look at that. They're already building a, a Helios. Oh, they're trying to build a Helios. Why are they not building that? Why are they not building that? Maybe we have... Oh, we don't have shield components. Why do we not have shield components? Ha well, isn't that... Isn't that the shipyard that is... Silent Witness Shipyard? No, second... No, no, no. Ah, okay, okay. Here, second contact. There you go. Second contact. Second contact to Wharf. Oh, I was, I was at the wrong one. Here, second contact. Ah, there you see. Antigone. Holy Order. Gorgon Sentinel. But they're also not building anything. Why are they not building anything? Logical overview. There you go. We have everything, I guess. But, oh, weapon components. We're missing weapon components. What do we need for weapon components? Energy cells, hull parts, plasma conductors. Hull parts. Uh, we should, we have three hull part thingies there. And we also need hull parts for ships. 
And we just have 5,000 hull parts. Oh, we need more hull parts. Graphene and refined metal. We're pretty good on graphene and refined metal. Cell offers? What do we have cell offers? Need more hull parts. Let's build one more hull part thingy and one more weapons component thingy. <laughs> oh, oh, what happened? Oh, okay, there you are. Uh, where do we put this? <laughs> hmm. Where do we put this? Oh, and someone, someone was asking if you can go up and down in this thing. So you can left, you, you can go left and right, but you can't go up and down. Yeah, that's weird. Can you go up and down in here? Oh my God, what's that? Up and down, up and down and up and down. No, not really. Nope, doesn't work. Um, <laughs> what are we searching for? Hull parts. Where's hull parts? I think H. There you go. Where can we put this? <laughs> Where can we put this? In here? Does that work? It does work, but it looks weird. Uh, da -da, da -da. Oh my god. Stop. There. Ah, come on. <laughs> come on. Yeah. Yeah. Hull parts. And weapon components. Uh weapon components. Where can we place this thing here? <laughs> this is so weird. Okay, um ha. Huh. Where do we place this? Maybe on top? Here. Boom. There you go. Weapon components. Cool. How do you get rotation snap? Uh, rotation snap, you mean like changing the rotation on it. So if you click on it once, left mouse click, and then you hold down the right mouse button, okay? You can do this. And while holding down right mouse button, you also hold down shift. And now you have fixed rotations. And just release the mouse button. <clears throat> That's how it works. Why is Duke's shipyard under attack? Because I attacked it. <laughs> from was Egosoft. Oh, okay. I think those unknown ships are from Antigone. Yeah, that could be. Don't worry about the mining fleet. Perhaps a, a later time would be great. I watched the last mining video you had, but I did not see mining into warehouse hauler. That's fun. <laughs> I go to buy a ship to see what they're missing. It's hopeless I never find how to do that up and down. <laughs> I'm sorry, Aderok. It's 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 I don't I don't think it's a, it's it's really a thing here. So we have hull parts and weapons. That should work. Uh money. Money, money, money. Accept. Sign or hire a builder. There you go. Confirm. Good. Got that. But they why are why are they not building ships? I don't get it. Why are they not building ships? We have a ship trader, we have a five-star manager. Everything is there. We have enough container storage. There's two million more container storage. I just can't see the problem why we're not producing ships. Let's teleport. Oh, of course it's auto saving. <laughs> Try to jump on my chair or to put my monitor on the floor. 
Don't forget to rotate to see the snaps at a different angle. Oh. Uh, you place it with left click. Yeah, you got. Thank you. Use just use copy sequence on the connector on the weapon component to add them easily. First placement is only a tentative pre-configured placing. Essentially, it's fell piece. Yep. Use your chair to go up and down. That's genius. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> Try and buy the ship there. Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that's a good idea. Try and buy a ship there. Mm -hmm. We'll do that. Entering Let's try and put a ship in the shopping Second list. We'll contact. show the, what's missing in component list. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That's a, that's a very good idea. Let's have a look. Um, build ships. Take an M size, whatever. Maybe a Cerberus. Currently added to ship is missing mandatory upgrades. High preset. Not enough. Weapon components. What about low preset? Currently added to ship is not added to the shopping list. But nothing. I mean, they cancel order. What are they trying to produce here? A nemesis sentinel. Incoming ship. Oh, look at that. This all holy order. An Aris. We just bought an Aris. We just bought a Gorgon. Uh, holy order police. Hello. Hello. Interesting. We just bought all this. I mean, let's, let's try to build an Aris. I actually wanted to build some Aris, so... Wait, it's... Uh, an S class. Rs. There you go. Even with a high preset, it should work. There's, there's nothing. It should work. Weird. Yeah, that's weird. What's your trade station view? I'm trying to get one working. I got one running, but it's quite slow, not making a notable profit. The second one on another spot runs even worse. They do my best to adjust the price, but it doesn't want to improve the profit. Any idea which could be the issue? By the way, first, welcome on board, Sergeant K. K. E. <laughs> hey, Phipps, no problem. Welcome on board and thank you for stopping by. Um, a trading station does not run. Let's have a look at this. Because I have also two training stations. One runs pretty good and one does not. So I do have this trading station. Egosoft would like to thank you for buying their product. You heard them. So I have this station which runs pretty good. I would say. Zoom out. So you have a constant that that was that was me getting money out of the station. But after that, it gets constantly up. Yeah, it's slow, but it gets up. And then we have... Little Amsterdam, which is, I think, not so good. Uh, logical overview. Zoom out. Yeah, this, this run's not that good. And one thing could be that you have maybe too many materials that you need to buy. The other thing could be that you have too big storages. That could also be a thing. So S class storages work the best on these uh, on these stations. And the other thing could be that you have some production on your station, S any kind of production, even a uh, energy cell production would interfere. And then, I mean, it's it's basically just prices, and that should be it. Like taking not too many wares at once. That's maybe one thing. Also, know what what you need um, in the vicinity. Security would like to remind all visitors to keep their children with them at all times. Oh, is that the thing? Is that is that why they can't build anything? No, that can't be it, right? No, no, no. Uh, but, but is that interfering? Oh, wait. Let me see. 
Are the docked ships interfering with stuff? I mean, that can't be the issue, but... Nah, that can't be the issue. But you know what? I'm, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Let's, let's get these mineral drills out here. And put them in... Where do I want them to be? High-tech factory, maybe for this one. Mine for commander, beta. Defense platform, Sire's Dominion. Oh, they were for Sire's Dominion. Oh, well. Mine for commander, beta. Uh, mine for commander. Come on. Maybe, maybe that's the thing. I have no idea. Sometimes you don't know what's what's messing with your stations in, in X4. Sometimes you just don't know. Okay. So here we go. They're leaving. They're docked somewhere else. That That's not the problem. Station is missing resources for the build. We have to take a look later. Okay, now it starts to producing something. Dog chips, Antigone Miner. Okay. Let's get some S-Class fighters. The best S-Class fighter. <laughs> the high preset. And then we have weapons. Okay, come here. We have dumb fire launcher. All of them. Yeah. Dumb fire launcher. What else we got? Torpedoes and tracking. Okay. I see. So now we need heavy dumb fire missile. Heavy cluster missile. But how did... Which one? Ha! Huh. Which one do you need for a for a dump fire launcher? So all of these are available for a dump fire launcher. Light dump fire missile, cluster, dump fire cluster. Oof. Oh my god. Oh wow. I s okay. Oh, wow. Um, wow. This is a lot. Okay, let, let's do this. Add to shopping list. <laughs> well. High preset. Oh, my goodness. And that's just dump fire. Oh, my goodness. We got heavy dump fire. Let's get heavy cluster. Add to shopping list. Oh, there's something going on. There's something going on. No? Maybe. Another R's. Okay. Wow. Let's have a look at... Uh, the torpedo launcher. Okay, what can you get for torpedo launcher? I hope only torpedoes. Heavy torpedo and light torpedo. What's the difference? Heavy torpedo. Heavy torpedo missile one. Uh, you have maximum speed 67. I think that the light torpedo is faster. Yes. It's faster, it's a little bit more maneuverable. And the detonation output is, wow, way lower. Hello again. <laughs> Hello again. No productions has, only one has two S storages and six products. 
that are one in the area, the second has two L storages and 14 products in an empty sector. The second runs better, but both haven't really paid out the effort of adjusting prices. I feel traders are doing way better for me. You know, you're experiencing the same as I do. So the trade station is not really, is not really a um, profit maker. So production stations do work better. Still do work better. Um, let's let's just see your your trading station as a hmm, as a hub for your for your uh, wares. So yeah, then then I would turn um, then I would change that into L class container storages everywhere. And just try to trade wares that you need sometimes in the game. And just amass them there. Punch more, but you will have your ship asking what to do each time they run out of ammo. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, I think we will stick with the heavy ones for now. I think we will just stick with the heavy ones. Add to shopping list. There you go. We're now missing weapon components, which is okay. Wait. Where are the others? Huh? What? 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 What just happened? Logical overview. Are you building something? Oh! <laughs> well, there you go. Even the unknown ship is being built. Whoa, okay. Let me see. Where are you all building? Okay, there is one. You're building a Pegasus there. There are others. As you can see, there is one, two, Three, four. So we got five S five S class ships, one M class ships, two M class ships being built. There is the Pegasus already done. Oh my. Okay. Now it. Okay. Well. Welcome. I think the mystery is solved. Oh wow! Look at that. That's an ours. Oh, nice. Isn't that... Isn't that the hours I wanted? No, it's not. But be, because there are... there There's a dump fire launcher. Huh? Is that the... Not really. <laughs> oh, the Buccaneers! Okay. Buccaneers fighter squadron. Are you kidding me? What are they doing here? Oh, there's the servers. Hey, I found a good station to make money with. Refined metals. I have one station with three motors of refined metals and it racks up the money. That's, yeah, that's, that's a really, really good station to start with. Refined metals. You explained in your... <laughs> that's a really, really good station. Really good. Uh, I have, I have one somewhere in Argon Prime, I guess. This one, I think. That's one of the m most basic stations ever. This is just refined metals. Production modules. Oh no, that's hull parts. Oh yeah, I pumped it up with hull parts. So this station... So you can go just one step further. Take your refined metals and do hull parts. Absolutely fine. Look at this hub here. Like, there's every single color in the game almost. Apparently, defense drone. Well, Buckney. Oh my god, what is going on here? Like, oh my goodness. Another Pegasus being built. Well, nice. Okay. Payment received two and a half million. Well, nice. Hall parts needs Griffin. Oh. What did I just say? Refined metals. Oh, I'm so... Wow. 
Okay, wow, there's there's a lot going on. I don't know why they're not showing ships in construction here, which is weird because when you go into the logical overview, you see there are no builds in progress. Huh. Oh, we have no weapon components again. <laughs> we have no weapon components. And no hull parts. Oh my goodness. But we're already buying like a lot of hull parts. And we're buying a lot of weapon components. <laughs> okay, wow. Station works. This station works. Captain, did you play other x series game or Expo Foundation is the first one? Oh, I played the first one as my first one. So, X Beyond the Frontier was my first ever X game. X Beyond the Frontier, then X Tension, X2 The Threat. Oh, was it X2 something something and then X2 The Threat? I don't know. Skipped X3 and Rebirth. They do not exist for me. And then X4. <laughs> yeah. Came back after a lot of years. Back to the X games. If you have your own sector, create a station with only illegal goods and... <laughs> Why are you not going to play Cyber... Why are you not going to play Cyberpunk in future? Hey, Honky Cat. I never said that. Welcome on board. I always said that I will play Cyberpunk in uh, February or maybe March. When all the big streamers are done with it. That's where I want to play Cyberpunk. Never said that I will never play this. It's X Beyond the Frontier, Extension X2, The Threat, X3, Un Reunion, Terran Conflict, Elbrun Prelude. Oh wait, X2 doesn't... Never had a DLC or a add-on. Never. Huh. I just remember having a lot of troubles in X2 with the cock and there was so much trouble with the cock that I... that I just lost interest. Like, I lost interest to the X series because of cock. I think that waiting for patches for Cyberpunk is a good <laughs> way to wait. Yeah, same, same. Okay, wow, there's a lot going on in here. Um, but now we have a problem since we do not have weapon parts and oh my god, what's going on here? Since we do not have weapon parts, um... We need to buy these ships somewhere else. Well, well. No, stop. Okay, so give me some R's. Heavy fighter. High preset. Uh, weapons. Let's do torpedo first. Torpedo. Torpedo. Heavy torpedoes. And... Uh, let's build two of them. Yeah, okay. Good. Got that. And to get things faster, let's take some ships here. S-Class. Uh, Eclipse. High preset. Let's take dump fire, dump fire, dump fire, dump fire. Oh, we're missing hull parts on this station. Okay, cancel order. I don't care where we get this from. I just want to have them fast. Buy ships. What do you got? Pulsar. Uh, too much. Too much. Discover. Nova. Also missing hull parts. My goodness. Uh, how about the Sire? You're missing hull parts? Ass fighter. Hull parts. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Everyone is missing hull parts. Do 
you have all parts? Buzzard? Yes, you have all parts. Okay, cool. Um, give me something else. Falcon? Uh. Uh. Isn't there something else? Like, do you have heavy fighters somewhere? What about these? My ships. Fighter. Ah, five weapons. I don't want to have... No, wait. Three weapons. Yeah, three is okay, actually. Okay. Let's do that. Uh, what do you got? Dumb fire. There you go. One, two, three. Heavy cluster. And two of them. Perfect. Now, another buzzard. I preset with another dump fire missile launcher, but this time we're taking heavy dump fire missile mark two. Add to shopping list. Two of them. All parts. Okay, confirm. Good. Next one is. Let's do that ourselves. Some Aris. High preset. Are you going to use torpedoes and missiles with the NPC or yourself or both? Uh, I think I want to try it myself first and then completely NPC. In sector and out of sector. In sector and out of sector. Do we need to have light dump fire missiles? Is anyone using light dump fire missiles? Just a quick yes or no. Is this the X4 mod for Cyberpunk? Oh my god, what's going on here? No, no Cyberpunk today. <laughs> Absolutely no Cyberpunk. Okay, let's see. Um, I want to change the stream title. The second beta of three. Exclusively missiles torpedoes and giveaway still running. That's right. So giveaway uh, whoop, here you go. Still running. I'm just playing with you. Nice to see a different game. <laughs> yeah. The, okay. Let me show you something. I had a weird situation today. I wanted to. I wanted to watch a little bit Twitch while working. You know, because of things. And I had this on my on my app. Like, I are you kidding me? Like, what do you watch today? Okay. How about Cyberpunk? No. Cyberpunk. Mm, Cyberpunk. Oh no. Cyberpunk. Nah. Cyberpunk. Ah. Uh, Cyberpunk in German. Ah uh, no. Thank you. Not really my thing. <laughs> hey bacon welcome on board <laughs> and sit twitch thank you for stopping by <laughs> for not watching cyberpunk <laughs> eight years in the making dude people have been jonesing for this game <laughs> that's right and at the end of the day and don't get me wrong but at the end of the day it's just a game We'll see how it looks like in a year. We'll, we'll see how it looks like in a year after the drivers are done for it, the game is polished, the bugs are fixed, um, the the um, what what's next thing? Um, the difficulties are balanced, and so on and so on. I'm excited to play Terran when the DLC comes. Oh yeah, I'm watching. Um, um, I'm curious about that too. X, uh, the, by the way, Egosoft just just posted something, something there. Uh, what did they post here? On Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Where is it? It, it was. It was. Oh, come on. 
Egosoft. You posted something a few minutes ago. The team has been hard at work on the next public beta update for Expo Foundation, which is now which is now available. Wow, that's one hour ago. We've been reviewing a bunch of quality of life improvements for the game and have added se several encyclopedia refinements, as well as additional data to the ship configuration and ship comparison menu for the full change log. Blah 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 blah. Okay. Wow, that's one hour ago. I checked, I only have Terran Conflict. Oh, well. When the DLC comes, I play a new game as Terran and we'll go for the Battlecruiser. Same. Same. Hey, Drac! Welcome on board, Drac! Yes. I do the same. Like, we're, we're doing a new new playthrough uh, for, the uh, for the DLC. <clears throat> Looking forward to it already. Okay, but but question was, is someone using the Dumpfire light missile or the light dump fire missile i don't think so so that's why i'm i will, I will not even check that not on s-class ships like come on right oh my goodness oh my goodness lt dump is this a new version it's the it's the 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 new beta so it's 4.0 beta 3 yes it came out a few hours ago emp missile is that is that even good for something no information available mm. let me just 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 oh i got so off oh my god we need to figure it out our own. There's not even the description. Are you kidding me? It's one sentence. One single sentence. This missile is disabling shields. That's it. Like, come on. Please. Oof. What does the EMP missile do? No! Nobody knows! I need to try that and I need to tell you that. This is so ridiculous. No description. Why, why do you even put description there when you're not using it? I don't, I don't know. Like, I really don't know what they're, what, what is going on in their minds sometimes. So weird. As if someone would have stopped thinking I don't know. Just take two of them. Let's, let's just try what they do. I have no idea. Okay, let's take f f uh, four because I have four launchers. There you go. That That's... That's one shot with EMP missiles. <sighs> okay, this will be my test chip. Let's take one shot of every single one here. Heat seeker smart whatever smart means let me let me let me guess there is no description it's a trap the description is a trap this missile is smart because it targets whatever you want it to target this is a heat seeking miss miss missile it will uh it will uh, uh seek engines first one sentence one single sentence you you're working so much with the encyclopedia nowadays so many change log sentences were about the encyclopedia and it's all useless if you're not giving us descriptions I hope that someone sees that from Ubisoft. You're doing something wrong there. Everyone sees that. Sees that. But not you. I'm sorry, but there's something wrong with you. Okay, give me that. Wow. I'm... Uh, I'm... I'm... Stopping here. Stopping here. We're... we're 
trying out every single missile we will get to see what the mp missiles do uh we will get to see what all the other missiles do i will tell you about that this is another youtube video i will gain something from that because egosoft is just too bad to write decisions uh descriptions <laughs> yeah okay i take it more for me less for you egosoft you egosoft anyway next one uh build ships m class so now it gets interesting because uh which one is the best m class mm. which one was the best m class ship i forgot where are my notes <laughs> i have some notes for the videos last uh last time i did videos where are m, m class ships m class oh here uh-huh 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 best overall oh yeah okay cool Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it. Nope. <laughs> nope. What's... Ah. Come on. What's... Ah. Could you stop it? Is that a wharf? Yeah, that's a free family wharf. Oh, cool. Oh, you don't have it. No. No. Hey, Sean Van Moore. Welcome on board. Hey, Lazy Monkey. Oh, my God. I Wow. So many new people in here. Welcome on board. <laughs> hey, Kaylin. <laughs> hey there. Welcome. Welcome on board. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not looking at, at the chat at the moment. Sorry, crew. Um, I was just ranting a little bit. Okay, what's what's the second best M class ship? Uh, let me see at my notes. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There's a lot of that, a lot of here. Oh, you would be surprised. My second second best ship. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I'm going to Thaladi. Osprey. Ha! You wouldn't think that this beauty here is the second best ship in the game, but it is. Fight me. <laughs> Such case saying there's a description in the German version just for your... What? There is? In German, there's a description for EMP. That's even worse. That's even worse oh my goodness that's like that's like copy google translate paste google translate copy game paste Th wow 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 EMP. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, but this this gets me every single time I'm looking at the encyclopedia. Encyclopedia. Whew. 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 Okay. Breathing. Breathing. <laughs> thank you, Septic Shizzle. Thank you so much. Cheers. Taking a sip that will make that will make it better. I'm looking at my 0.0, .0 beer, and I'm thinking like this could be a 10.0 beer at the moment. Space Operations Delta. Thank you so much. Welcome on board, um, Jean Bon Mar. And Elder, Elder James, welcome on board. I just saw your name. Just saw your name. Uh, da -da 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 -da. So it may just something that is not yet translated. Not yet translated after two years. Okay. <clears throat> Guided requires lock and has small resistance to countermeasures. Swarm swarm requires lock and fires a bunch of guided missiles at once. Heat seekers do not require lock but have almost no resistance. I need to have a screenshot of that. Kaylin, you're amazing. I need to have a screenshot. Uh, da -da -da -da. They, oh my goodness. What did I do? No! 
What did I do? There you go. Got it. Thanks. Missiles. <laughs> Whew. It's very hard to tell what the MP missiles do as they don't do damage. The MP missiles stop the ship from boosting and using travel drive for about 30 seconds. Huh. Captain, new member of Welcome Space on board, Operation thank Delta. you so much. So what's happening today? Issues with miss missiles? Yeah, we, we're trying out missiles and torpedoes and also supply ships. Uh, supply ships is the next thing that I want to buy. And the... <clears throat> Nobody heard that. And then we will <laughs> gather all of them at one spot and then maybe fly into Xenon space and have some uh, fun with missiles. Trying out some missiles on Xenons and stuff. Maybe we can get a K or maybe even an I to test them. That ship looks like a flying block. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I thought the second missile required lock besides guided. I don't use swarms myself. Okay. They're just to catch ships, so pretty useless anyway. Okay, so that's good that I just have four of them. The translator got the co <laughs> Okay. Clearly it's bro broken beyond repair. The only answer is to complete nuke all your saves and start again from scratch. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> we'll do that for the next DLC. I already said that. Elder always already said that. I don't know if you remember me on YouTube. I'll have to comment about my own police scanning my own shit. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. <laughs> Thanks, by the way, for your best answers. <laughs> That's when I answered, well, you know... You know how police works, right? So... <laughs> the same law for everyone. I, of course I remember. <laughs> There's nobody doing YouTube or anything for me, so... Every time you get a comment back, it's always me. Uh, they fixed that since June... Wait, what? Uh, your first answers, but... Well, Egosoft are finally not that much stupid. It was just a bug to a corrupted file. They fixed that chin since June 2019. I found the cause of that with a dev on the form. Wow. Are you going to buy auxiliary ships? Yes. Do you mean... Do you mean that with supply ships? Yes, auxiliary ships. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I always call them supply ships because, you know, that's what they do. I like to use the Oregon Nomad. Well, we, we try all of them. Give a pilot a badge and suddenly he thinks he answers to no one. Huh? What? <laughs> Finally, police is not supposed to scan your own ships as well. Oh, I did not read that in, in the in the change log, but anyway. Uh, uh Drag, if you just go if you just go into Steam in your X4 foundations and then click on major update or whatever. There is, please visit our forum. If you click on that, you go to the forum. There it is. And it's now in chat. There you go. It's always updated in the forums first before they update it anywhere else. So there you can find it. Okay, but here we are. Size M. Select loadout, high preset. We're missing hull parts. Well, that's not my problem. That's your problem, uh, Ministry. And now we have... What do we got? We got the same, right? Torpedoes, tracking launchers. Yeah. So for this, we're using torpedoes. M-class torpedoes. Heavy torpedoes, 104. Oh, wait. But we also have turrets. Uh, oh wow, you don't have... Ooh, you don't have M-class missile turrets? Well, that's bad. Hey, that's really bad. Uh, okay. No, cancel order. Let, get me, let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Let me talk to the manager. 
Let me talk to the manager. That's not how you treat your customers. I want to talk with the manager. The chips. Try it ourselves. Um. The tech servers. Why not? There you go. And we have turrets. Yes, we have them. Uh, or maybe not. What am I missing here? Hey, wait. What what, what am I missing here? Where, where do we get M-Class torpedo turrets? Lol, Elder. The police ship scanning your own ships. I mean, oh, what? <laughs> But I really, I was freaking out when I saw that my ships were forced to drop like 50,000 cubic meters. Oh my god. I'm so sorry for you. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. Okay. Um. No, for real. Aren't torpedo launchers in the weapon slots? Yeah, torpedoes are in the weapon slots. But what about... Oh yeah, what about missile turrets? Missile turrets is the thing that I uh, wanted to say. Tr I I think you have tracking tracking mark one somewhere. Is that right? Okay, let's let's search um, let's search the wharfs. So let's go to Argon by M-Class Cerberus and take a look at the turrets. Nothing. Okay. It could also be that they are in Antigone. Who knows? I don't really know. Like, I, I'm just guessing at the moment because I never ever used um, missile turrets. So that's why I don't know where they are. Okay. What about Holy Order? Order. Why ships? I don't care. Turrets. Beam boat plasma shard. Just stop playing and search about that issue. X4 is full, full of bugs. <laughs> yeah, it's still full of bugs. Uh, what about split? Ah, okay. Uh, okay, here. Turrets. I just want to see your turrets. Nothing else. Beam, bolt, plasma, shard, pulse. Okay, I don't care. What the frick is going on here? Why are the buccaneers like trying to raid me like crazy? Wait, 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 wait. What the frick is going on here? Like. Excuse me? <laughs> what? P.O.G. Poggers. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god. It's an Argon? No, where are we? It's an Antigone fighter squadron. But who are you fighting at? Holy Order? Oh my god, you're fighting Ho Holy Order? Are you kidding me? <laughs> what are all these drones? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, get out of here. Yeah, take him out. Take him out. Stop shooting my ships. Okay, there you go. My goodness. What the? <laughs> uh, well, at least these ships get built here. So, I guess it's a win. 
I like this so much when they fly in. Look at this. Oh, this looks still. This looks so good. If they would introduce ray tracing in this game, I think they would like. This would be in 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 freaking insane. Wow. Anyway, it's good for business. <laughs> Setting to both sides. Of course. No missile turrets for M ship class. M class ships? Wait, what? No, 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 no. There, there are missile turrets. There are tracking turrets. And it could be that there's just one single faction that's selling them. Bold plasma pulse shark. I mean, come on, really? Are you kidding me? Wait, let, let's have a look into the encyclopedia. Okay. Why are we even... Why are we even trying that the other way? Uh... Turrets. Missile turrets! Argon M Dumpfire Turret. What am I talking about? It's like... What do you buy them? Lucky you're still alive? Nah. Because the insurance doesn't cover the damage. <laughs> I hate to admit, but 80% of the reason I play X4 is to watch ships docking. <laughs> hey, Arkbus, welcome on board. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, Arkbus. <laughs> Do you think they have the skill for X ray? Uh, no. In my parenting game, I'm at minus 10 with the Saints order. That was the easy way to change that. Uh, missions. So, Lord Orange, missions or fighting, uh, shooting down criminals at their stations. So, just stay at their stations and shoot down criminals. I now have all SM in production. I'm broke, but who cares? <laughs> hey, Nomad, that's good. <laughs> Welcome on board, by the way. <laughs> hey, Beats! If you have coin, could you... What well, was weird? What do you need? What? <laughs> Remember, spaceships are so without warranty. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Beats, how are you doing? You hope you're feeling good. <laughs> Say hi to the Quartermaster today in here. It's definitely not Beats, but it is Beats. And look at this. We have dumpfire turrets. There are dumpfire turrets. But it seems... That we can't build them, nor buy them. But why? What? Why? Question is here. Why? Okay, let's go to Argon. Teleport two because I have the best reputation with them. Maybe they will sell it. I don't know. Entering system. Argon Prime. Maybe they will sell it. Let's have a look. <laughs> Good, let's have a look. Are you selling It's an some honor stuff? to see you here. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, not the ships. Oh, yes. Some ships would be nice. Minotaur. Vanguard. Ah, oh, I can't buy more blueprints. I want to buy them all. Dang it. Wait, that's not it. Uh, equipment. Turrets. Argon L Dumpfire Turret. Argon M Dumpfire Turret. Oh, maybe because it's the wrong... Oh, it's maybe the, the wrong ship uh, class. Huh, maybe it's the wrong ship class. What, what happened? Got one, okay. Oh, that could be it. Build ships, yep. M class. Okay, the servers can't take dump fire turrets because it's a frigate. Maybe. What about the corvette? Can you take dump fire? No. What about a gunboat? Can you take dump fire? No. What about a transporter? Dump fire? Nope. Uh, miner? <laughs> nope. Gunboat, Corvette, Frigate. What else do we got? 
M class ships can equip the missile turrets. Only L class and above can equip them, it sees. Oh, you mean. Wait, you mean that when I take an L class ship, like for example, let's take the Behemoth, and then I can equip M class dump fire turret. Oh, you're right. But why? I don't understand. Let's take, for example, a Cerberus. Uh, how many rockets can you put in there? Missiles. 100! Like, this makes perfectly sense that you have turrets on, on these. Huh. Maybe, but... Uh, let me see. I, I, I still... I still don't want to give up that easily. I still don't want to give up. Um, because there's, like, another gunboat here. Turrets. What kind of ships are there? Um, let's see in the encyclopedia. Ships. Combat ships. Fighters and support ships. There you go. Cobra. Missile storage. Okay, now they have a description where I don't need descriptions. Wow. Wait. We have a description on the on the servers. The first one of the newly designed M-sized support ships to reach the Federal and Republic navies. The Cerberus class frigate is primarily designed to target and support smaller and similarly sized vessels in a defensive capacity. Da, 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 da. Anyway. Hmm. What's that? That's a gunboat. Ship type gunboat. Frigate. What else are they? Corvette. Gunboat. Scavenger. Scavenger is one we did not try. And this is a... Uh... Where do you buy them? Minotaur? Ah, here. Hatikva, Duke's Buccaneers, Scale Plate Pact. Okay. Let's have a look. We have Duke's Buccaneers here. But... M... Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Minotaur... Gunboat, turrets. Hmm. You're right. Because reasons. M class on weapons are not the same as class on turrets. Me babbling. What? <laughs> okay, I understood. Once upon a time, uh -huh, it's a blast with miniatures because or four turret slots. Ah, uh, yeah. And this is an MMS class, are only for the launchers. Only organ ships have description. <laughs> Maybe it's sort of balance for ships. They brought back the right click follow command. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. We already gone through this. Without setting default behavior. I I know. For like not allowing smaller ships to destroy two easily bigger ones. Oh man. Really? What a shame. Like for real, what a shame. Oh, think about this ship here with mi swarm missiles to the front and then tracking missiles on every side. It's like a flying A. It's, it's like a space A-10. <laughs> space A-10. Okay, well, then we're like, this is, uh, well, bad, I guess. Hmm. Argon Shipyard, build ships, uh, L class, give me a behemoth. You're missing hull parts. Well, I don't care. Uh, turret groups, there you go. So we have big dump fire and tracking turrets. Uh, let's take dump fire, all dump fire, dump fire. 
Dump fire, dump fire, dump fire. And heavy dump fire missiles. 1,000. Well, there you go. Oh my goodness. Okay, no defense drones, repair drones. 10. Hmm. Okay. Can you have more? No, we can't have more. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, I don't care. Add the shopping list. Build. Uh, I think one is enough. Confirm. Good. And then take another one. L-class. Behemoth. A preset. Uh, third groups. Tracking. Tracking. Where are you? Tracking. 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 Oh, wait. Clusters. Yeah, let's save. Oh, they changed that. Hey, they changed that. They 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 changed the uh the 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 credit setting here. They just put a K in there. I don't like this. Yeah, I absolutely don't like this. Ah, the, oh, the oh, oh, cringe. Oh. 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 This, this, oh my god. I'm not, I'm not. No, 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 I'm not starting that. Nope. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. Here we are, back at 12 million. And now we need some. Uh, now we need some money. Where can I get all the money? This is uh, self sufficient, self sufficient, self sufficient, self. So, ah, you need. Hello. You need some for. Uh. Thingy. Here. Research. There you go. 74. Hey, we're back in the game. I should put mark level on the picture instead. <laughs> I have to admit, I missed the M categories for ships. It was easier to figure out the ship's role when you got used to it. Hmm. Yeah, but when you start with X4, I, I think that's... That's not even bothering you. I think when you're just starting with X4, then it's easier to go with SML than XL. Okay, here we are. That's a Nomad. Never had one of these before. Never had one of these before. Turret groups. Uh, let's do something good. Where are my... Where are my flag turrets? Where are my flag turrets? Huh. Weird. Okay, then we take pulse. Consumables, cargo drones. I feel, oh my god, you have a lot of drones. Ah. Okay, it's like 30 cargo drones, repair drones, 70. Because, okay, you, you need them for. Huh, wait. Wow. Interesting. You can fight with these things here. Just taking drones with you. Defense drones and then take this thing as a as a fighting ship. Okay, here we go. Um yep. It's good. Add to shopping list, 30 million. Let's go. Antigone has no flag turrets. No! Dang it! What does the others look like? I have a strange feeling that they look all the same. Oh my god, that's good. It's not. Wait, you look exactly like the carrier. Oh no. You look 
better than the carrier. Are you kidding me? Why is the auxiliary ship looking so good? Wow, look at the, the, this. This thing has got three M docks and six S docks, and it's like really well placed. Maybe this is a good auxiliary ship. Wow. Like from the placement of the docks, this thing is amazing. Like you have in basically every direction landing pads. This is pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, what do you got? Uh, wow, a lot of turrets. Pulse, plasma, beam, bolt. Nothing really cool. Anyway, take pulse. Because, you know, because. Wait, that's just one single turret more. Hmm. Anyway. Repair drones, 60, 40. Let's do the same on everyone. Add to shopping list. Confirm order. Now, we need to have a parented one. Buy ships. Parented Atlas. Oh, well, yeah, of course. This is like... <laughs> this is the most boring ship in the game i would i would say and also i can see some problems here with uh landing pads because it's so close together let's have a look we're trying to to do that with all the s class ships to repair them and stuff what do you got you also don't have flak. Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow. Pulse. Pulse. Pulse and pulse. There you go. Uh, consumables. Why do you have missiles? Why do you... Why do you have missiles? No, stop. No, no missiles for you. 60 and 40. <laughs> Good. Add to shopping list. Confirm order. Cool. That's it. Hello. We ordered all of them. And we still have the monitor. Antigone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well. So that's the first auxiliary ship we already have. Yep. Yep. Split one is already there. Supply ships carry missiles to replenish the attached fleet. Oh dang it! Should have get. I should have got some. <laughs> oh and oh 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 and we need some traders. Traders uh, to trade with the supply ships. I think we're getting three of them. You fast? Not really fast. Hmm. Oh, which are the best M, M class traders? <laughs> uh, yeah, the Mercury. Mercury Sentinel. Okay, let's get them. M class Mercury Sentinel. I preset. There you go. It's a little bit slower, but I don't care. Combat engines. Take travel engines. Yeah, take travel engines. That's better. Combat thrusters. Hmm. Uh, wait. Pulse. Pulse. Good. And three of them. Not enough money? Dang it. Two of them. Confirm. No more money. 
spend a lot of money there. A lot. Give me some of this. Confirm. Nice. Cool. The Taladi Observer ships ships seem to be a top-notch forward operating base. The Taladi Auxiliary ship looks like really good for an auxiliary ship because of the design itself. Like even this design is not really that good because like I said the uh, the landing pads are way too close to each other and I think that's a problem. But we'll try out definitely try out for now let's have a look how this works is there enough in construction let you go over here no build in progress i don't understand because we do not have weapon components ah man Short on weapon components. Short. Well, that's bad. But we get a lot of them. Mercury Sentinels. They are flying. Okay. What do we got? Eclipse Vanguard, a lot of them. SPA Cobra. Wait, we have a Cobra? Dang it. Where is it? Oh, it's in here. Supply ships only build missiles from wares when resupplying ships. The missiles can they carry are for their own missile turrets and not for the ships they resupply. Oh, that's good to know. The Colossus from Argon has 60 M class turrets and one L. That's nothing compared to the Raptor or of the same class ship. Yeah, that's right. I thought there was no collision collision when landing taking off, so the landing pad placement shouldn't be an issue. Uh Let's see. <laughs> Let's see. Greetings. I have no idea. We'll try that out. Supply ships now use the trade offers to get supplies when supplying fleets and their subordinate traders will now get supplies within the range properly. Okay. If you say so. Uh, let's have a look at the monitor because that's already available here. So behavior, what can we do? Supply fleet. Hmm. Interesting. It says fleet. Supply fleet, you know. That's a little bit weird. Coordinate attack. Why is this thing in here? A coordinate attack is one of the... Oh, whatever. Automatic resupply. How does that work? No tooltips available. Blacklist, we don't have that. Oh, resupply ship trade settings. Oh, there you go. Ta-da! Trade rules, uh, advanced composites. Oh, you can do, okay. Automatic pricing, use ship settings. Trade rules, oh, interesting. There you go. Scanning arrays, missile components. Okay. So. If we take traders, oh, and by the way, Daedalus, thank you. Hmm. <sighs> Talking too much today, right? Oh, 
Oh. Are these already available? Yes, they are already available. Okay, cool. Let's take these two. And how do you do this? Monitor. It's, ah. Stop. Okay, there you go. Right click. Monitor. Ooh, wow. What? You can assign a lot of roles to them. Follow commander. Oh, you can assign the follow role. Uh, follow rule. Role? Follow role. Okay. Trade for commander. Mimic commander's behavior. <sighs> wow. That's a lot of stuff. Okay. Trade for commander. Trade group alpha. Interesting. If the dishwasher wants to do something. Oh, well. It, it can also trade with the commander. It can also mimic the behaviors. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on. Cool. Doing that below. Teleport two. Requesting permission to dock. Bala Ur. Bala Ur. Greetings. <laughs> Bala Ur. Here we are. Okay, cool. There is the raptor. Where is the monitor? Oh, there. Okay, cool. I'm using my auxiliary ships at traders, but you can also use them as suppliers. Well, I'm trying to do as suppliers, yeah. That means they will wait until almost empty or empty to supply, resupply. High means they resupply more frequently. Ooh, okay. Ooh, 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 interesting. So then I want to have that on high. Right click. Does not work. Dang it. Information. Uh, loadout. Instructions. Hi. No restrictions. Perfect. Requesting permission to do. Good. Okay. Now, uh, sort by size. There you go. We have a nomad. Okay, the nomad is already done. Come in here. Fly two. The nomad is done. We have a behemoth vanguard, which is already done. Cool. Fly two. We have. Where are the S-Class fighters? The Aris. Second contact. Oh yeah, okay. All of them come here. Then we did... Eclipse Vanguards, but... No, did we did we do Eclipse Vanguards? Or was that an Eclipse uh, Sentinel? I think that's a global setting too. Yeah, 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 it is. It is a global setting. I would try it, but we're auto saving. <laughs> and let me tell you something about now that we have some time. Let me let me show you something. I have I have something something here for you. Really cool. Okay, let's close space again. <laughs> Going out of the map. Let me show you something really really quick. Mm, just to keep that in your mind that we are still we are still doing oh my god i can't <sighs> where is it there it is we have still a christmas giveaway running just to keep that in mind uh music we have still a Christmas giveaway running with an X4 Cappy. It's still closed. X4 base cap. <laughs> we have a t-shirt with profits on it. 
profits, as you can see there. Profits. It's that one. That one here. Then we have a t-shirt. This here, which is that one. T-shirt. And two books. Farnham's Legend. Uh, where is it? Here. These are in English. So if you want to uh, maybe improve your English or if you're already good in it, I guess you're already good because you're in here. <laughs> then you have the original story about X4, where it all began also in the Christmas giveaway. And we have five codes for the collector's edition X4, which will include the upcoming DLC. So even if you have X4 and you're just missing the next DLC because you don't have the collector's edition, you will have the DLC for free. This, uh, the, the, the five codes are sponsored or sponsored are given, given, uh, to us by Egosoft. The, the merch stuff I did by myself. So all the X4 merch stuff is bought by myself. Then we have space operations delta giveaway stuff like for example this muck or t-shirt i just showed you at the start which is sponsored by beats thank you beats thank you beats uh exclamation point christmas in chat right now have fun and there is a short survey after you uh participated that way you can also help me to improve the channel that would be very very nice if you participate in the survey too thank you <laughs> i thought about this that i need to do it today again just just to um just to inform you about you know stuff Okay, we need we need something. Where are the where are the new ships? Where are they? Cerberus are waiting. Zephyrin waiting. Inkarkato are waiting. Did, did you already? Oh, you did that already. Oh, cool. It works again. Hey, Game Zone. <laughs> Welcome on board, Game Zone. <laughs> Presence, presence, presence. <laughs> yeah, not only profits, but also presence. <laughs> Got P PW working. It miles better than AC7. With pain and heart, no doing mercenary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it useful to have a fleet of S class ships? No. <laughs> what do you want to do with them? Like, I. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe maybe as a police force. But even then I would take a um, L-class destroyer with it. So. Hmm. Questionable. Very, very questionable. Okay, here we go. We have these ships already there. Teleport 2. Oh, wow. Did we teleport it and it's still in Sita? Greetings. Is it still in Sita? No, they fixed it. Okay, cool. So, what do you got? You have torpedoes. Awaiting orders. Torpedo launcher. Ammunition loaded up. Please hold. You will be scanning your cargo. Okay, well, it's loading up. Wow. Can you fire already? No, you can't. Oh, wow. They take a lot of time to load up. Is there a load up time somewhere? Okay. First one is loaded. Second, third, fourth. Is there a load up time? Military. Missiles. Uh, heavy torpedo. Load up time. No, not here. Missile launchers. S 
Torpedo Mark II. Load up time. No information. No information. Let me check another source really quick. Rogies. If you don't know Rogies, this is a very, very good site. Uh, let's see. Weapons. Weapons. S-Class Dumbfire Launcher. There you go. Is there any information? Lifetime, range, quantity, damage, damage per time, speed. Hmm. Six seconds, what does that mean? Lifetime. Is it load up time or huh, what does lifetime mean? No, okay. Uh, weapons. You don't have... You don't have missiles in here? Oh, come on, Rogi. By the way. Okay, so the Colossus is not a good ship. <laughs> Oliver Kahn would say, Wir brauchen Eier. <laughs> hey, Phipps, welcome back. You returned. <laughs> I just realized you returned. Welcome back. Lifetime is probably how long it keeps going after being fired. Yeah, I, yeah. 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 So, let's have a look. Ah, uh, we can't click on it. Missiles? Why are there no missiles? Hey, Dutch! Welcome on board, Dutch! Hey, ho! How are you? Hey, ho! <laughs> uh, where's? Drones? No. Wait. Uh... Huh. You do not have missiles here. Ammo. Whoa, what's that? Whoops. That's wrong. <laughs> well, that was wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, missiles? Any? No. No. <sighs> Actions. No. With Vendetta? Not really. You really don't have missiles on here. Yeah, he did not care about missiles. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe we need to do that ourselves. Load up time for missiles. Hmm. Now I'm interested. Is there a difference between different types of missiles or is there just a difference between the um, between uh, the the Aries. the weapon you take, like you know. Greetings. Okay, so here we have another one with torpedoes. Okay. I see. And then this one should have the other launcher on it. Is that the other launcher? I Awaiting think. orders. Wow, this cockpit is amazing. This is like really looking good. Yeah, so here we have the tracking launcher. Okay, let's let's put EMP missiles in there. Oops, I'm sorry. Hey, Warwick! Welcome on board, Warwick! Okay, wow, this takes a long time. Okay. Oh, Dutch! Let me give you the store credit right now. At points... Oh god, your name. Uh, T M L G underscore Dutch. One. There you go. Are you targeting them specifically? What do you mean? I mean, do you target lock them? Uh, I don't know. Maybe the uh guided missiles. I have no idea. Okay, let's see. 
smart missile. Is that faster or is that the same? Awaiting orders. Oh, oh, look at that. These missiles are faster. So it really depends on the missile itself. So this is a learning. Guided? How fast are these? Also pretty fast. As you see. Okay, okay, I see. What if we pause the game and then change it? Heat Seeker? That way you could take the time. Heat Seeker is also pretty fast. Awaiting orders! Huh. Oh no, sorry, I was answering to... Oh, okay. What was that? Okay, can I just fire them? Let's let's try it. Heat seeker missiles. Let's shoot them. Okay, it doesn't work. No weapons assigned to the oh. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get away. Secondary. How do you shoot secondary? Oh, there. Okay, cool. So you can just fire them. Well, interesting. Uh, look at that. There's a buccaneer. Marcus Hostel. Confirm. Slight variance. Let's do that. See how that works. Discoverer, Vanguard. Waiting orders. What do we got? Heat seeker, right? Heat seeker missile. Oops. Okay, cool. Let's try it out. Elki? What do you mean, Elki? Ah! Damn it. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, please. <laughs> Don't just write Elki. I'm like, okay, Elki. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Lol. Uh, let's take smart missiles. I don't know. <laughs> okay, there you go. Smart missiles, come on, load up. Oh, 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 do they work? Stop your attack immediately. Your cargo. Go ahead. You will now suffer the consequences. This go. is sector security. Comms channel open. Reporting an attack against this station. Which station? Criminal record has been updated. Hey, 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 which say what? Uh, auto saving, of course. Which station? What, what happened? What did we do? <laughs> no, they after you. Oh. Well. <laughs> hey, pants on. Welcome on board. Hey, pants on. Hey, by the way, if anyone is watching this on YouTube and you're like already two and a half hours in watching and you're still here come to twitch say hi live be part of the crew it's that easy twitch.tv slash captain collins <laughs> heat seeking missiles always seek out something lol oh my god really they do okay so what what did we fire it on i don't even know what we fired on like, there's nothing red. Oh, the Atlas. The Atlas is done. Come here. There's this behemoth. And... Okay. That's about it. That was a long-range missile sniping. That was, right? 
How how far was that? 20 kilometers? That was really far. Really, really far. Um, military missiles. Heavy heat seeker. Effective range, 9 kilometers. Excuse me, what? That was not 9 kilometers. That was not 9 kilometers. 7.4. Guided. Dump fire. 24 kilometers. Wow. So basically with missions, do launcher weapons have an influence on the damage as well or whatever launcher you use, only the missile type you has. Oh, okay. oh wait, uh, maybe I can answer that, Jean. So for example, if we're using whatever, I don't care. If we're using the dump fire launcher mark one, this should just give you the options for Mark 1 missiles, but it doesn't. Really probably shouldn't test weapons in a friendly area. <laughs> you can do the same thing for torpedoes even at 100 kilometers. You just need to have 4000 meters of speed. Oh wow. It was a discoverer, so yeah, one hit, one kill, okay. Hmm. I don't really see the difference in... Uh, maybe... I don't know. There, there's so much to find out. Um, missile launchers. M dump fire. Storage capacity plus zero. Storage capacity plus four. Storage capacity plus zero. Storage capacity plus two. The Mark II just increased the missile capacity. Hmm. Missile capacity plus two. So that's it. What about turrets? There are just... Okay, there are just Mark 1 turrets. <clears throat> but you always get storage capacity plus something. Okay, wait. Argon Dumpfire M plus 30, rotation speed 120. Perinid M Dumpfire, rotation speed 60, still plus 30. Split 90, 30. Delati 60, 30. Okay. Tracking plus 10, plus 10, plus 10. Why do you even write it there? Plus 100, plus 300, 100. Oh, wait. 300. Because, maybe because it's dump fire. Because the one is tracking and the other is dump fire. So you have um, more availability for dump fire missiles than for tracking missiles. Because, you know. You don't hit that much with dump fire missiles. <clears throat> but also on the other hand, if you just take L-class dump fire missiles, then you have like a lot of extra of extra firepower. Huh. A lot of a lot more dump fire missiles. So it just okay, okay, okay. So it changes. So these are the same missiles because you can't take other missiles. So the missiles are always the same. It's heavy and light. That's it, period. So if you take, for example, heavy dumpfire missiles, Mark II. Okay. And then you take an L-class dumpfire turret. You can get 300 more missiles. But it's the same missile. And you can fire this missile either from an S-class fighter or from a destroyer. Awaiting order. 
it's basically the same damage the same damage for a destroyer and the same damage for an s-class fighter the only difference is that your s-class fighters need to resupply way more often than a destroyer does I see it. There will be a video for missiles on YouTube. Yes. <laughs> yes, that's why we do that. I don't want to sit here and just think about it myself. I want to have all the the hive intelligence from you too. <laughs> I think I get it then. The launcher weapon has influence about the missile types you can load up in your ship. And mark one or two increases the amount of missiles you can load up exactly so yeah th that's basically it so the miss missile launchers and the missile turrets just increase the amount of missiles you can get in your ship and with mark uh wait with mark one launchers you will have just the capacity that the ship has with Mark II launchers, you can have a little bit more. With M, oh, oh, M class and S class, there is no difference. So in M class or in S class launchers, Mark I, there is absolutely no difference. But if you take Mark II, then you have a slightly more storage capacity on M-class missile launchers than on S-class missile launchers, which makes a little bit sense. And that's for the forward-facing missile launchers. Then you have the turrets. Then you have the M and the L turrets. And M turrets take a little bit more storage and L turrets pack a lot of missiles in them. But the damage output itself is always the same. So you do not change the damage output. You just change the amount of missiles that you're taking with you. And then you have like different missiles, which of course costs different. And that way you decide if you want to spend a lot of money or if you spend a little bit less. And of course, for example, if we take a, uh, let's take a heat seeker missile, you have heavy heat seeker missiles, which should be faster and we well, know heavy heat seeker missiles should be slower and light heat seeker missiles should be faster and can shoot farther away yeah but of course the de detonation so the damage is is lower but they are more agile way more agile like oof. okay so it makes sense to take light heat circular missiles for turrets which are fighting against uh fighters and then it makes sense to put heavy heat seeker missiles or whatever heavy heavy missiles itself uh, on turrets that are that are targeted at capital ships and stations of course so that's how you that's how you place them okay well now it makes sense So it would make sense if you go with a full missile build, like for example, I tried here with a full missile build. These are all tracking armed. Can you say which weapons should be loaded? This is weird. You can't say which, which missiles should be loaded in here. Missile defense. I did never see that. This is new. Is that new? Missile defense. In 
individual orders like what about the fire rate mark two can also mean you can fire two missiles in a row no there's always one like we already saw that the fire rate depends on the missiles you're using but I, I still need to check that if if it's true for S class and M class. That's that's right. Uh, didn't we have an M class ship ready with missiles? I don't know. I don't know. Um, servers. No, we didn't. Maybe we can buy one here, like really fast. Cerberus, I preset, uh, weapon components, damning it. Okay, you know what? Uh, we're trying this with tracking. Tracking one and tracking two. Okay, so now we have different tracking launchers. And then we take like some heavy guided missiles, 20, some heat seeker missiles, some smart missiles, swarm missiles, and that's it, I guess. But you know what? Let's take also some light heat seeker missiles. Uh, thirds are flag, I don't care. Add to shopping list, confirm order. Okay, we will see in a minute. Wait, so tracking dumper is only due to the launcher turret and not the actual miss missiles. Uh, if you take tracking turrets or dump fire turrets, so that will decide which missiles you can take from a warp. So the 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 missile the, the, the missile launcher or the missile turret will decide which missiles you can take on a wharf. It will just show you the options you can take. It will never show you dump fire missiles when you just put tracking turrets on your ship. Reload time is a good question as well. Yeah, we're we're, we're experimenting with that now. The launcher type determined, determines which missiles can go in. Oh yeah, okay. You can only use one type of missiles at a time and cannot change them manually. For the missile turrets. Oh. So the forward firing missile launchers have really ready wrecks, but the turrets don't. Hmm, I don't think so. Like, you, you just don't see them. That's the thing. You just don't see them. Okay, there it is. That's the Cerberus. Is it done already? Wait, is it done already? Oh, yeah, seems so. Okay. So you can decide on different missiles on your AI ships. But not on the turrets. Huh. So I could say take one light heat seeker missile in here and take heavy guided and let him fly like that. But you can't change the missiles on turrets. So if I go into this Behemoth Vanguard, there are tracking missiles on it. And I know you have some missiles somewhere. I don't even see your missiles anymore. Awaiting orders. Where? Where do I see how many missiles you have? No, for real now. Where? <laughs> Where's the number? Hey, 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 where, where are your missiles? 
Jones. Countermeasures. Hello? Teleport 2? What the frick? I have joined the giveaway? Perfect! That's good! Okay, so I know that you have missiles. I gave you, like, a lot. I guess. Excuse me? Where are all the missiles? No, for real, where are all the missiles? Inventory? That's my inventory. Perhaps they did some Away fireworks. Orders. This is so weird. Like... Okay, let, let me get up. Let me try something. If I take you and I give you the order to upgrade and repair, you don't have consumables on board? Did I forgot that? Or well, maybe I forgot. <laughs> hmm, maybe I forgot. Dang it. Okay, let's try it. Do you have that many missiles? Oh, you don't have that many missiles. Oh, damn it. Wait, you don't have any missile components. I didn't do anything and you don't have any missile components. <laughs> really? Oh, come on. Ah, it's always the same with you. Missiles are not that easy to get. Missiles are not that easy to get. I can tell you that already. Oh, we're still good with missiles. Still good. Still good. Now give me light height uh, heat seeker. 100. Still good. Okay, some heavy guided. <laughs> Awaiting orders. Give me some more heavy guided. I think they are good. Okay. Oh, wow. Awaiting orders. And we're still waiting for the. Oh, wow, this is a big. Awaiting orders. It's a big bridge. Hey. It should have been in the loadouts tab. Yeah. Is the Nomad any good? I have no idea. I miss the old missile variety. <laughs> hey, Gamel Kamel. Oh, come on, boy. <laughs> That's such a cool name. Such a cool name. Also, where's the monitor? Why why are you there? Why to? What are you doing by the way? Fly to object destination. Why? And what are your what are your ships doing? Where is that? Antigone Memorial? Okay, so you're at the wharf. Information. Okay, okay, I see. No missile components. Welp. What are you trading? I hope missile components. Does it have any good defense? Maybe it repairs like the monitor. Touch and 100. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think that's how it works. I actually think that's how it works. There's the rattlesnake. You know what? Let's try it. Uh, resupply and repair. Repair that rattlesnake. Take that missiles. I don't need them. And give me some repair drones again. 
I cannot confirm the order. Why not? Missing resources. Oh, add to shopping list. There you go. Confirm order. Okay, so I ordered the rattlesnake in here. Let's get into an ours and have a look from the outside. Aries. Aries. Hello. Awaiting orders. Where is it? 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 Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, let's have a look. Whatever will happen, will happen. So, there comes the rattlesnake. There's the rattlesnake. Let's, let's see. Whatever happens. And where do you fly to? Like, how do you do that? How do you do that? Oh. Rattlesnake. Interesting. So you're docking at the site. Or... What's the rattlesnake doing? Is cargo drone any good? Is cargo drone any good as a destroyer? Wait, what? <laughs> Does anybody know how to use the boson lance efficiently? What is a boson lance, by the way? <laughs> what is that? Is that the front? Oh yeah, that's the front. It looks like the back, but it's actually the front. Yeah, there are the engines. <laughs> okay, so what do you do? What are you doing? Okay, okay, as you see, this is how it works. So it docks at the front, but from the side. Not front front like at the monitor, but front side. That way. Not that way, but that way. <laughs> Cocoa drones are mainly for L-class destroyers. They usually dock at front for L large ships. Oh, okay. But wouldn't it be better if the resupply ship would fly to someone and resupply it? Like, can you take the resupply ship and, let's say, for example, fly there and resupply someone? Couldn't they just, couldn't they just let it be and and let's let's just make it follow ship, follow until server notice? Okay. So yeah. He can't do it this way. Huh. And now we're waiting through the resupply happening. For the resupply happening. Right? Commander, second contact wharf. Oh, there you go. Commander, hard to board, monitor. What are you doing? What are you doing? Um, trade offers. What do you got? Drone components? No. Missile components. Buy offer. No sell offers. Dang it. Hey, Captain, cough me. <laughs> Hey, Captain Coffee. I can't allow that. I'm sorry. But hello on board. <laughs> Try it with a behemoth or your raptor. Huh. Maybe. How did you get your custom logo? 
Hey, Rabbit Congo, man. Welcome on board. <laughs> Welcome on board. Oh, wow. How does that work again? You put you put your logo file into the Egosoft folder, but I don't really know anymore where that is. Oh, let me see. It should be documents, Egosoft, X4, random number, logos. Oh, yeah. You oh, that's how you do it. Exactly. That it is exactly. Wait, let me show you this. So if you go into your your documents, you have Egosoft, then X4, then a random number, and you have to uh you have to make this folder yourself. So right click new folder and then you have to call it logos. And in logos you just place your PNG file. And it should be 512 to 512. I bet that it's the best you should do. <clears throat> that's how you that's how you put your logo in the game. And then you can just take it as a uh, in your empire uh, logo. It 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 will be there. Custom logos. There's a logo pack on the Nexus that actually has one of those. One of one of which. Hey Falcon Infinite, welcome on board. Welcome, welcome. There's the folder in the Egosoft folder in documents that has your logos. You can put custom ones in there. Yeah, the, I did not have the I did not have the logos folder, so I had to make it my own. Wow, it was spinning like crazy. Oh my god, they put back the follow order. Yeah, they did. They did. Ah, oh, so good. Are you still trying to do that? This is ridiculous. Remove all assignments and come here. Captain, new member of Space Operations Delta. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cheers. I know it's not a hydration, but I need to hydrate. Either way. Ooh. Man, time is flying today. It's all already. Um, 50 past nine. Wow. Oh, hey, thank you, Septic Shizzo. Sh Shizzo. Sorry, Septic Shizzo. But it is a hydration. No, it was not a hy Now it is a hydration. Before that, it was just a hello. So basically, it makes it easier to get new skins without having to grind missions for them. <laughs> What? A mod that changes default ship skins? I don't think so, but there is a mod and new skins there. Uh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. I'm also I'm also have sometimes problems with uh seeing that seeing that right. I'm like, oh yeah, thanks for the hydration and oh okay, that was a that was a hello, but mm, you know what? Let's just not talk about that. <laughs> Where are these dudes? They're coming? Yeah, here they are. Finally. Okay, let's take these two. Uh, remove their orders. Remove all orders. And now... Nomad Sentinel. Trade for Commander. Alpha Group. Searching for traits. Captain. Lord Orange 12. Just subscribed. Welcome to the new spaceman. Welcome to the new spaceman. Welcome on board. Thank you, Lord Orange. Thank you for the tier one. Wow. Thanks. After one stream, you already decided to be part of the crew. Thank you so much. Amazing. <laughs> wow. That amazes me every single time. 
thank you thank you okay so uh where is the behemoth there it is Traders assigned to supply ships also have limits to their gate range when choosing trade offers. Oh yeah, I know. Anyway, to manually set the icon, any way to manually set the icon for your own station. Oh, you mean place it yourself somewhere? No, that's not possible. You you can't place it somewhere where you want. That that's not how it works. Oh, you're done. Wait, are you done? Or are you trading with this dude? What is happening? Wait, 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 wait. What is what is happening? Huh? What are you doing? What just happened? Red snake is good or Dock and wait. Change equipment. It's still there. These dudes have absolutely no idea what to do. <laughs> trading with Nomad Sentinel? You're not trading with, you're trading for the Nomad Sentinel. What the frick? Auto trade. <clears throat> Commander. It's Captain. <laughs> Can you explain how the green asteroids works? My ship explodes, but I don't understand how I get the damage. Is over time or do I collide? Green asteroids. Oh, the green asteroids. This is a... Um, this is basically a... Um, like... A, de a hazardous area which which gives you damage over time and you just have to leave the hazardous area because after a time you will just blow up it does work with with destroyers it does work with destroyers and xl ships so l and xl ships because they have zero seconds delay of uh, shield recharge so if you get constant damage they also constantly recharge but whenever you have a shield recharge delay you will get constant damage until you're dead so wait where are we uh if we take a look at shields you take a look at the L class shields, you have this shield recharge delay, like I said, zero, zero seconds. So a continuous damage will not do anything to you. You take an M class shield, you already see 0 0.5 seconds. So you need to leave the area where you get continuous damage. Oh my God, I, sh I should talk about that in the shield video. Huh? So yeah, that way you need to leave the continuous damage area, otherwise you will be dead after a while and my game is crashing no it's not okay i shall come back with something large then exactly <laughs> exactly oh wait that was the wrong one. exactly <laughs> recharge delay is in the encyclopedia now yes it is kalen it is since 4.0, I guess. And it's even in... Uh, and it is even in the ship comparison now. Uh, shield, shield recharge delay. There you go. Recharge delay. Shield recharge rate. Average group shields. Uh, so let's take, for example, an L uh, beam of Sentinel. A preset. Confirm. And a uh, L, let's say a rattlesnake, a preset. Confirm. There you can see it now. You can see the recharge delay. You can see the recharge rate. It's now in there. Shield recharge delay zero because it's an L class type. 
recharge rate you can see that now one day after i did the shield video one day after the shield video like egosoft and me we're having like a <laughs> we're having a relationship which is really weird because whenever i i do some videos and i and i talk about cool stuff or i talk about some stuff that was never been in there two days later it's patched either in or out <laughs> a few days later best example um laser turrets on highways laser turrets on highways it was a thing let me tell you that it was a thing split shields are really bad <laughs> oh now we can oh now we can talk about this oh interesting wait 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 let's take an s class ours with high preset and we're taking parentage shields confirm now we're taking an s class oh my god this video could be so much better now oh organ 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 confirm that ship ours oh my god oh my god wow really oh this could oh wow <sighs> i hate love you egosoft i hate love you recharge rate look at that highest recharge rate then argon then split it's all side by side are you kidding me and then we take the rs Ladi shields i hate you why did you do that And then you see the then you see it side by side the recharge delay argon against split oh my goodness oh oh the pain yes viking all oh, the pain oh Ooh. You have to do it again. Oh my god. <laughs> no. <laughs> Please no. Update necessary. God damn it. Oh. I feel like I feel like someone in my head is doing that constantly. <laughs> it's like Eosoft. <laughs> Look at this video. X4 shield X4 foundation shield video version 2 2 days later <laughs> 2 days later oh my god look at that you see the mega jewel see the recharge rate against parinit hmm okay if if you just like this this here is split and this here is Teladi. Now I can at least talk about why the one is better than the other. Because this thing here. We're talking about five seconds recharge delay. And the shield is just one thousand more. So you're adding up if if you put this here in the uh, a overall perspective. So this is a about 9,000. This is about 8,000. A little bit more, I know. The recharge rate is almost the same. So we're talking about the difference of 100. But the de recharge delay is like 5 seconds. So while, while the split shield is already starting to recharge 5 seconds earlier... The Teladi shield need to 
need to catch that up the five seconds and even load longer i guess does it load longer no it doesn't yeah maybe but anyway you can you can go back into fighting with with a uh, split shield even faster like when the when the Taladi shield starts to reload you are already back with two and a half thousand shield on your split shield so you shut down so you're still down here to zero while you're already up to two and a half thousand on the split shield yep that's a thing okay but we still need to do some some missile testing i don't i don't see where we're going here um still need to do some missile testing i mean oh wow it's already 10 o'clock uh, but i need to do this missile testing fly two and now you should also have the missiles no you still can't you still can't change the missiles but okay now okay now you have at least the ammunition in here you see the ammunition but you can't change it on your turrets i see i think permanent shields are better than split shields still quick recharge delay much faster recharge rate than split Mm, yeah, but maybe not for S type. M class, yes, absolutely. M class, L, XL. But S class, I don't know. You're talking about the recharge delay, but ah, I, I don't, I just don't feel it. The lot is start with 1k more, so you only start 1.5k ahead with split. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. So you have like 1,000 more shield to fight with before you need to get out of the fight. Yeah, that's also pretty good. Perinid are under 10 seconds delay still. No, they have 10.2. <laughs> it's a trap! <laughs> You can always buff them with mods. Yeah, but not when you have a fleet of them. All right, I have to go with check the end of the video on YouTube tomorrow. Have a good evening, everyone. Uh, Jean, on Sunday. Thank you so much for stopping by. We'll see this on Sunday. But then it takes 15 seconds for the Solarica to edge up to the split after damage. Yeah. 15 seconds on top of uh the delay so we're talking about almost 30 seconds <laughs> wow. okay so that's half a minute out of the fight okay but we have someone with already uh some shot missiles oh yeah the one we're in So how fast does that work if we are... Get up. How fast does that work if we take you? The monitor has already some stuff. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that manually. Um, do you have... A behavior... Uh, let's put a global order. Global standing orders. Mm, automatic resupply. High. That should trigger you. Are you triggering? Aries. Asking again. Are you triggered? No, you're not. A behavior wait for signal no 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 flying wait you don't need that there you go no no behaviors 
nothing. So what are you doing now? You're not resupplying, right? Use global settings. Hi. Low. Medium. Hi. Huh. Why does that not work? I mean, we miss some missiles, so we miss eight missiles. You should resupply. Let me see. Hello. I don't care. Just fire them. Fire. There you go. Get up. Take the seat. And resupply. Hey, Warrior. Good night. Uh, if the ship isn't tied to a fleet, you need to manually tell it to resupply. Does it have to be in the same fleet as the supply ship? I don't know. That's what we're... I mean, that's exactly what I'm trying to find out at the moment. But there is a... Wait, wait for signal? Okay, get that done. You're not waiting for a signal. Okay, there you go. Default behavior is... Hold position. Got it. Uh, your instruction is to automatic re automatic resupply. Please hold. We will be scanning your automatic. Copy. Scan results show that you're all clear. Good. Good that I'm not in command because I have contraband in my in, in my inventory. <laughs> that wow, that's also a good thing. If you, if you see police flying to you, just just um, get just get up from the driver's seat and then the police will not scan you but instead it will scan the ship so while I have contraband in my inventory the ship doesn't what do you do what do you do what do you do what are you doing Hold position Blind wait. No, remove that. Remove that. Undock. Huh? Why undock? Fly and wait. No, remove that. And you're still not doing anything. Nothing. You're doing nothing. Oh my god. Okay, this this does not work. What are you doing? Nothing. Searching for trades. Maybe because there is nothing? No, 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 no. I... No, that's not... No, that's not it. It's bugged. It's definitely bugged. Um, remove all assignments. Let's try it again. I still want to... Resupply that nomad. But I have absolutely no idea how to resupply it. Where are you? Nomad. Um, resupply, repair, add. No, that's not it. Transfer wares, intercept, follow, trade for commander. What if we do... Okay, let's, let's try something else. Um... But wait, the, it is a fleet if we assign them. Trade for commander, alpha. Okay. Now it's a fleet. We have the Nomad Sentinel fleet. Okay. Now take the fleet. Get supplies. I clicked it. <laughs> I clicked get supplies. What do you do now? 
Are you getting supplies? Searching for traits. Searching for traits. Behavior. Undock. Get supplies. That's the behavior now. Get supplies. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. Now it gets supplies by itself. Now it flies away and gets supplies by itself, but it still doesn't work that we get traders to supply for it. Why not? Do you need to trade a first time when it will begin? Who are you? The ship needing supplies needs to be part of a fleet and the default behavior of the fleet auxiliary needs to be set to resupply fleet. Wait. Okay, delete. Wait, okay. The fleet... Wait. Resupply fleet. Okay, we have a fleet. We have a fleet with these two guys. Mercury Sentinels. They are... They have a role as a trader. And then you have a formation behavior. Oh, you can't be. Well, auto trade. I mean, I... Uh, how else do you do a, a fleet? I mean, you can't assign them without a role. You know what I mean? I think you need to make some other ship the fleet leader. Put the auxiliary ship under that fleet. The auxiliary shouldn't be the fleet leader. It needs to be told who to give supplies to, not its own fleet. Yes, they supply... Fleet needs to be assigned to supply have trade offers for the traders. Wait, what? So do... So we need to have a... This one... In another fleet. Follow commander. Alpha group. So this is a fleet in a fleet. No? Does not work. Oh, wait. Pause. Okay. Now we have Alpha Group and Alpha Group. <laughs> and your behavior. Like you're following information. Behavior, current role, supply fleet. Current role. I cannot supply anything. Not to follow, but supply commander. Yeah, I, I just did supply fleet. Okay, and then Damage we take. The, then we take the R's in here. Um. Attack with commander, Delta fleet. So you We're are it. now part of the fleet. And the Nomad Sentinel is also part of the fleet. You are all a fleet now and you should supply my Rs. But you still don't have any supplies. <clears throat> the auxiliary ship shouldn't be the fleet. Yes, the supply fleet needs to, uh, needs to be assigned to supply fleet. Uh, auxiliary needs traders under it. Fleet can be multi-level. I did that. 
Need to supply fleet, bro. Did... I mean, ah, it doesn't work. An auxiliary fleet under the main fleet and the auxiliary fleet auxiliary ship will resupply the rest of the main fleet? Yes. He has the resupply fleet icon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's doing nothing. Awaiting orders. Undock, dock, docked? Where are you docking? Oh! They're doing it! Yes, they start! Yes, they're starting. It works. Are they moving? Like... <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. Ah, okay. How you say that? That's the crooks. <laughs> That's the crooks. And now we need to see if... That ours is being resupplied that ours should be resupplied after a while that's a balore we will be scanning your cargo hold look for two scan but make it quick nothing found you're free to go balaur balaur hello hi requesting permission to dock docking permission granted are you what are you doing? Are you docking? Why do you dock? Oh, dang it. Because... Oh, yeah. Okay, I get it. I get it. Um... But the Behemoth Vanguard has got... Let... Oh, wow. This is... Oh, this is not that easy. That behemoth vanguard has still got some capacity left for ammunition. That means if we take you and put you into attack with commander role in here, you should be resupplied by that nomad. Please hold. We will be scanning your cargo hold. I will Name of Valor Ballerina. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Wait, I do that, okay? Ballerina. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Okay, so we now have the behemoth also in this group. And that behemoth should be resupplied with high demand. That means, okay. Oh, 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 the nomad is... What, what are you doing? You scan, no problem. Scan results show that you're all clear. You surprise? Split not. You surprise? Split not. <laughs> Fly in here. Fly to here. Okay, here they come. There, there goes the behemoth. Okay, interesting. Oh, and then... Oh, 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 oh. While we're waiting, we can do something else. There's the Cerberus. Teleport 2. Okay. Another question we had was... Does Cerberus. It, Vanguard. Does it change something if you have a Mark 1? Oh. Does it change something if you have a Mark 1 or a Mark 2 missile launcher? Does that change the uh, missile loading time? That's a question we have. Hey, Ormas! Salut! So there will be a video about using the auxiliary ship, correct? 
I didn't get it. <laughs> yes, there will be one. There will be one. I think I'm starting to 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 get how to use this thing. Uh, once in a fleet mode, and also maybe as a stationary supply point in a system. This auto saving thing. <laughs> Speaking of frigates, I was looking at the unit capacity of them. Oh, the Osprey can hold 17 drones. Oh, let me see my notes. The Osprey is Awaiting orders. on my ship list. Um, a pretty good M-class ship. <laughs> Don't want to spoil my next videos. Because, you know, my next videos are... My next videos are best S class, best M class, and best Awaiting L class orders. ships. So here we are. It's science time. Whoops. It is science time. So we are loading something new into both of these, and we have one Mark One and one Mark Two launcher. Everything else is the same. And we're now having a look at these, if they change. If one is loading faster than the other. Okay, three, two, one. Well, did you see the difference? No, I didn't. <laughs> so there you go. We figured it out. We figured it out for missiles. So useful, Mark II. <laughs> the only Awaiting difference orders. there is basically that you can hold more. That you can hold more missiles. That's it. So if you are taking, for example, wait. Um, so you have a preloader there. Wait, well, what am I doing here? You have a preloader for missiles. And I do have 24 light heat seeker missiles. And a Mark II should wait, a Mark II should be able to hold four more. Wait, 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 what am I talking here? Let's try it. No, that's 24. Okay, doesn't make a Yeah, okay, and, and the launcher doesn't make a difference. No, okay. That's it. Mark, no, 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 there are no Mark II missiles. Uh, Ormes, we already talked about that. Mark II does only mean that you can hold more missiles on your ship. So, the missiles are always the same. So, it doesn't... It doesn't change the damage of the missile from which type of ship or which type of launcher you shoot this missile from. The only thing that a turret or a missile launcher changes is the maximum amount of missiles you can have. So I was talking about guided missiles here. That's a tracking missile. So we're going into S tracking launcher Mark 1. Can hold just the capacity of the ship. A Mark 2 can hold two more. An M class Mark 2 can hold four more. An L class and an and turret M class can hold 10 more and a turret L class can take 100 more that's it there are mark 2 missiles but mark 1 launchers can use them yes exactly um there is just this one here dump fire yep yeah dump fire mark 1 or mark 2 missiles but the difference is basically uh i would say the more than double the resources for the Mark II and just having 20 yeah about 20% more damage so 20% more damage and about 100 and or maybe 200% more uh, resources if you if you look at the missile components it's insane like 5 against 25 Awaiting orders. and that's for 20% more damage Wow, that's a lot. 
the range is different. No, yeah. If you're going to use a dump fire, just get a cluster missile. <laughs> well, never tried that, actually. Never even tried that. What do we got here? Where do we got these? Uh, I think on the behemoth, right? Yeah, and where's the... Oh, the nomad. Look at that. You have no drone components, which is nice. Why are you moving? What are you doing? Okay. Uh, so teleport to this one. <laughs> that's that's what I do in control too, right? Okay, here we are. Uh, we have missiles. Wait, main battery? Oh, these are just turrets. Uh, just turrets. Dang it. But anyway, the traders now work. So this is good. But what I what now oh, want to know, to know is... Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? wants to dock you you don't want to dock wait for signal okay uh remove all orders and assignments come in here by two all of you fly in here <laughs> activating travel drive Wait, that's the wrong system. That's also the wrong system. Thanks. Good. Okay, here we go. There's the trader. So two traders should work really good. Maybe even four of them. Maybe even for. You mean that? Trade deal's been confirmed. Sending you information now. I was watching an Order X4 missile video and I showed one that had Sending effectively a now. 19 hour flight time. Need to see if that's still a thing. Oh, wow. Please hold. We will be scanning your cargo home. What? No. I know. We're still trying to resupply the rattlesnake. <laughs> We're still trying to do that. <laughs> ah, come here. Please destroy all of these dudes. Yes, fly in there. Destroy all of them. Please. Come on. Come on. Awaiting orders. <laughs> Awaiting Trade orders. deals been confirmed. Sending you information now. Awaiting oh, wow. orders. Okay, that's that's Awaiting really orders. funny. Awaiting orders. Oh, Awaiting yeah. orders. Two frames per second. Yay! One hundred twenty frames per minute. Amazing. Orders. Okay, now they now they fall like. Lies. Awaiting orders. Oh, stop. Hey there. Uh, removal orders. Oh, give that another name so that I find you again. Um, missiles. There you go. Okay, and you know what? Load out. Attack all enemies. Let's see how that works. In uh, in this mode, let's see how that works. 
Are you already firing missiles? Awaiting orders. I don't see you firing missiles. But it should fire missiles. So we're not you we're not losing ammunition. Let's get in there and let's see if it even shoots. Entering system. Does it shoot? It shoot I I I saw some missiles. Or did I? Is he shooting? I don't think so. I don't think so. Attack all enemies. Attack fighters. Oh, this armed. Oh, damn it. That was the thing. Okay, now they are armed. Now they should shoot. Oh, wow. Okay. Missiles go. Woohoo. Okay, we shot a few missiles. 321. Oh, wow. We already shot 30 missiles. Are you kidding me? There's a disarm. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. The question was... Question was... Um, do you still use missiles when you're out of sector? Entering system. Okay, where is it? That's the missile boat information. Loadout. 314. Let's take a look Are at that. In prime. Oh, yes. Oh, look at that. It's going down. Is it still going down? Are there any more enemies? There should be, right? Wow, this is what the frick this is going down fast. Oh my goodness. This is going down like really fast. I don't think if that's worth it. This gets expensive. Yes, this gets really expensive. There are two fighters coming. Let's see. How much do you need for two fighters? Let's go. Let's 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 fight them. Wait, let's fight them. Uh remove all orders. You Attack multiple objects. There you go. Two fighters. How much does that cost? Awaiting orders. Okay, we did it. But missiles or no missiles? I don't know if that was missiles or if that was maybe the the front battery. You know. I don't really know. Uh, build your own missiles to save on cost. Yeah, of course. Absolutely doing that. Okay, here we go. You should fire that. Wait, why can't you still fly? Why are you still in travel mode? Although, we shot you. I don't get it. Okay, let's take all of them. Let's take all of them and do the same what we always do. Remove all orders. Hello? You don't have any orders. Okay. Uh, attack. Let's have a look. 
what the missile dude is going to do. Where are you? Missiles. Information. Loadout. Let's have a look. Ah, this takes too long. Um. Da -dum -da -dum -da -dum. Okay, but but this works. This works finally. So the resupply of the supply ship, or the resupply of the auxiliary ship, that works. So this works. Oh, look at that! The rattlesnake is the rattlesnake is done. Is it? No, it's still on resupply. Change equipment. Still, still, still executing. <laughs> Very quiet executing. Trade deals been confirmed. Sending you information now. Okay, but now let's have a look at this here. Wait. Missile dude. Missiles. 250. You should just shoot down that Trade thing without confirmed. all the missiles. Sending you now or maybe you're using the the heat sick oh wait you're okay you attack fighters uh attack all enemies now let's do it attack all enemies and you're armed question is do you fire missiles at this station I mean, you have heavy guided missiles, 100 of them. And he did use... He did use all of his light missiles on fighters. So at least that was a, that was a good choice, you know? Sending you information now. At least that was a good choice. But now let's take a look at Insector. Let's take a look in sector. Use only anti-station missiles could be worth because of range. So do you recommend using missiles on ships or is it a waste of, to use them? He's using only the main battery. Maybe. I don't know. Let's let's have a look, actually. Let's have a look at what, what he's doing. At the moment, I don't know uh, if it's good to use missiles or not. Because I had the feeling... And it was it was just a feeling at the moment. I had a feeling that when um, when the uh, behemoth started to use the missiles, the fighters were going down very fast, very very fast. So I don't know, but we can try something else and entering take. system. We can try something else, and we have the Aris still there, with the torpedoes. So, there are the two Aris with torpedoes, and we can take them in here, and try to get them fight with torpedoes, you know? Maybe that's a thing. But let's have a look at this, what's going on here. Okay, so you're not shooting with... So you are not shooting with the rockets because, of course, range. The siege is going on. This is, Everything's fine there. If it's an insector fight, the missiles will let your ship stay out of direct fire weapon range but i think for os fights there's not as valuable because the game doesn't calculate the distance as part of the combat in the same way mm. nothing quite like a pulsar with six torpedo launchers <laughs> wow <laughs> wow can't really argue with that one i would say okay you know what let's do it old school Let's do that old school. Whoops, where are we? Behemoth Vanguard missiles. Removal orders. Fly to. 
old school technique. Let's see if that works. Which kind of missiles he uses. You should use capital. Wait, are you on capital ships at the moment? Capital ships, okay, that's good. Oh, also a thing, what I was just thinking about, the range of the missiles um, does not change with L or M or S type missile launchers. Uh, yeah, that's just what I thought while we're flying into the station. So do you, do you start to shoot, please? Hmm. Does the station count as a capital ship? Yes. They do. At least last time. Yeah, capital ships and stations, basically. L, X, L, and stations. Oh, there you go. There you go. How far away? And what did you fire? Smart missiles. Ugh. Could it be that... Could it be that they shoot the missiles? They are in the order of that list here. So that... So that they start to shoot now with the smart missile and when the smart missile is gone they take the swarm missile and then they take the guided missile let's take a look at if, if that's the case let's take a look oh wow okay fire at will at the moment i don't care i will, I will i'm not getting shot too much 35 30 shooting five missiles at a time tiny boys Igor Savicki says the crew will choose the most appropriate missile for the situation <laughs> yes of course mm -hmm. that's why that's why they're taking smart missiles and not the guided missiles mm -hmm. the typical EOSoft stuff okay let's see Next one will be the swarm missiles, I guess. Okay, now we're shooting swarm missiles. Am I right? Let's see. Which kind of missile? Shooting nothing. And you know why we're not shooting anything? I can tell you why we're not shooting anything. Because the, sm the, the swarm missiles are... I think... Have a lower range. <laughs> Let me just double check that. Heavy swarm missiles have a 7.8. Smart missiles, 7.4. Hmm. Guided, 8.3. And what else do we got? Heat seeker. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. We, we started to shoot the swarm missiles. As I said. As I said. Oh, what did you shoot on? Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. This is nice. Wait, let me let me see that. This this looks cool. Oh wow, what is this? Ugh. Anyway. Here they come. Oh wow, flares. Doesn't work. Boom! Oh. Come on. They're still seeking. They're still seeking. You can be faster. You can do it. What? Wow. 
Wow. Amazing. So, what did you do? Swarm missiles. Yeah. Doesn't make sense. If we take swarm missiles out of that ship, it will use the guided missiles. <laughs> so dumb. Again, <laughs> they should add an attack stations only. Well, it's okay. And the Aris is here. Oh, the Aris. Oh, well, we got company. We got company. Uh, come in here. What are you doing? Remove all orders. Come here. And there's another station. And we have heavy torpedo missiles here. Heavy torpedo, heavy torpedo, heavy torpedo. On the other one, we also have heavy torpedo missiles. Exactly, exactly. Okay, good. The behavior is fly and wait, hold fire and hold fire. Very important. Very important. Okay, let's get out of sector anywhere. I don't care. Oh wait, no. Uh, into a ship, actually. Entering go, system. Just for Are the. In prime. Uh, With the sea top. and then we're taking a look again Watch on this here until the they're order. there the waiting orders okay cool please don't fire at me thanks awaiting orders come here awaiting orders requesting instructions okay lie there Oh, come on. Uh, if you don't want to come to us, then we need to come to you. Stop moving, please. Remove all orders. Come in here. Fly to. Come in here. Awaiting orders. Yeah, there you go. There you Waiting go. Requesting instructions. Okay, Ars, what are you doing? Awaiting orders. Awaiting orders. You're not firing, right? Capacity eight. Wait, what? Eight? Awaiting orders. Eight? What happened with the other one? Where's your- Awaiting you? orders. Out of ammo? Didn't I said hold fire? I said hold fire. That is like wow. I would like to to. I would like to try. Oh my god. Okay. I would like to try torpedoes on a station, but I can't get them to a station. <laughs> They're still the firing. Orders. Are you kidding me? <laughs> they are still firing. Okay, let's do that. Maybe you're fire. Maybe you're stop firing that way. I have no idea. What the frick? Dock. Docking permission granted. Awaiting orders. Wow. 
awaiting orders. So they kept burning oh, fireworks. Yeah. yeah, I'm burning a lot of money there. Wow. A lot of money there. Uh, orders. I don't have anything to drink anymore. Hit an orbit. Cheers. A little bit is left. What are you? Okay. Requesting permission to dock. Attack. Docking permission granted. Move fast. Oh yeah, cool hours. Oh god. Um. No more weapons. Six heavy torpedo missiles. <laughs> That's it. Let's see if that works. Requesting instructions. Are you already shooting? What do you do? Oh, I really want to see that in. I, I really want to see that in sector. Really, really, really want to see that in sector. Okay, what are you doing? Entering system. Tell me what are you doing? Arcus Cascade. What are you doing, ours? By the way, that's the best S class fighter. If you want to have the best S class fighter, just saying. It's one of the only. It's it's the only S class fighter with three shields on it, and still four weapons. Just saying. And three engines. Fast, agile, hard hitting. And can take a few hits. And you have damn big logos on it. Wow. Amazing. They got attacked while they were still doing the flying weight or yeah, so they did not hold fun. Oh god, really? That's the case. Oh god. Okay. Danger. Hazardous Are you region detected. Oh no. Where? Here? Ah. Uh, could you not fly there? Maybe that's why he had to stop. Hazardous region. That could be it. Okay, but the other one just got there really quick. Oh, it's this station again. Oh, we can't destroy that station. It's that rock station. <sighs> that's also a bug. That's that's Behemoth Vanguard. That's a bad bug. You see the Xenon station here? Oops. See that Xenon station? Yeah, you can't shoot it while in system. I don't know why this is com this is completely weird, but you cannot shoot this station while in system. The only way to shoot this station is out of system. Ares. Give me that. Hello. Give me that. Get out of here. Let me see. Behemoth Vanguard. No. M. Station? M N Xenon Station. Yeah, station. There you go. 15 kilometers. How far did they shoot? I don't know. Oh, there you go. Torpedoes shot okay how much damage 99 percent and Danger. when they hit hazardous region detected oh dang it come on hit oh they have 20 kilometers right yeah so four of them do what wow they're slow <laughs> Here they come. No. What's that? 
Where are the torpedoes? Where are the torpedoes? Ah, oh, here they are. Wait, that's not the torpedoes. Where are the torpedoes? I can't see them! They're still flying? Yeah, they're still flying. Oh, they are the torpedoes. Okay, cool. Ah. Here we are, here we are, here we are. Come on, impact. Wow, they're slow. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Oh my god, they're slow. Like, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> come on. Don't get shot. Don't get shot. And hit it. Oh, oh, oh. okay. How, how much was that? Two percent? Hey, wait, what? Excuse me? What just up? Uh, what? Uh, Uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> I guess that's what that was it for today. <laughs> that was it for today. Wow. Okay. That's new. That that that's a big beta block there, a beta blocker. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for hey music. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Wow, we did one hour more than I expected. Thank you, thank you. This will start an hour earlier on Sunday on YouTube because it was so much. Um, I, I still, I, I'm still completely undecided after four hours trying to get missiles and torpedoes into our fleet to, to, to make it work after four hours, I'm still undecided on what to do. I don't really know. <laughs> We'll have to see. We we'll have to see. I will do a video about that. As I said, I will also do a video about auxiliary ships. At least a basic video about auxiliary ships. And maybe then we'll get an advanced video about them. So that we at least can that that we at least can supply our resupply ships. <laughs> that makes sense. Anyway. Thank you so much for being here. It was a pleasure. Thank you for stopping by, uh, being a part of Space Operations Delta. Uh, I saw there was also a follow coming through, but not on my alarms. Thank you so much for following. I did not see your name in here, so I'm just saying thank you. Hey, Leonard, welcome on board and good night. <laughs> oh, Paradoom! Paradoom was also in here. Thanks. Sorry that I did not see that. Um, also, good night, Paradoom. Thanks for stopping by. Everyone else, thank you so much for being here. Katon Orbit, Kalen, Elder James, Phipps, Archibus, Sergeant K, Butanyanko, thank you. Daedalus, thank you for being here. Um, Who? Leonard, of course. True Viking, Ormas, thank you. Mac in Togi, thanks. And welcome on board. First time, I guess. Paradoom, as I said, thank you so much. Uh, Amanda Man, thanks for stopping by. Veggie, of course. Lord Orange, thanks. Hi, Jammer. 
Thank you so much. Wow, so many people in here today. Whew. I Warwick already gone. Jean already gone. Um, so many people in here. Beats, Beats, of course. Thanks for being here. Organautis, thank you also for being here. <sighs> wow. Amazing. Amazing. So many people. Good people. Good crew. Thank you so much. I appreciate to be your captain. We'll see us again on Monday, 7 p.m. Central European time or on Sunday when we watch this stream again on YouTube. Um, also, please keep in mind, we still have the giveaway running with t-shirts and stuff and books and beer. Wait, no beer. No beer for you. Beers for me. But all the other stuff. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Exclamation point Christmas. Anyway, we'll see us Monday. And let's have a look if someone else is playing X4 that we can join. I don't see anyone that I know of. That's a pity. And I don't want to send you over. I really don't want to send you over to a cyberpunk stream. So that's why we just call it a day. I don't think that a lot of you will enjoy me sending you over uh you to a cyberpunk stream so oh yes paradu perfect perfect uh, do the survey too <laughs> thank you anyway so that's why i'm just saying good night and we'll see us monday bye thank you for being here amazing crew bye <laughs>